Hello, what a slow fade in there. Thank you, Sam and TJ. Welcome to High Rollers, the D&D stream here on the Yogscast Twitch, also on our High Rollers D&D Twitch. Yeah. I'm your Dungeon Master, <laughs> Mark Sherlock Humes. And joining me, we have Rhiannon. Hi. Chris Trot. Hello. Kim. Yo. Tom. Hello. And Katie. Hi. We're back. Thank the whole squad's here. Hey. Hi. We're here. We're here. We're here. All of us. Um, we know we've had a few a few weeks with people being away. We've Life had a couple of breaks. Life is busy. We're going to have some more breaks coming up because I think we're here next week, but then me and Trot are away. And then we've Larpin. Got, and then three weeks and then I'm away again and loads of stuff's going on. Um, it's mostly hello. just you. Huh? It's mostly, mostly just you mostly away me. now. Yeah. Welcome to High Rollers. A couple of messages before we crack on with today's game. Uh, obviously, to start with, a huge thank you to our two sponsors, D&D nice. Beyond and Brilliant. D&D Beyond is the official digital toolset for D&D 5th edition. Nice. Uh, <laughs> featuring an awesome character builder, full compendium of all the D&D books, and more to come. I've become a big fan of the campaign management tool, which lets you go in and add items, XP, <laughs> otherwise edit uh, the characters. You can do all of that cool stuff. Reduce our HP to 1. You can do that. Uh, you can get 25% off of any digital purchase, excluding the legendary bundle, by using the code High Rolling, all in caps, High Rolling. Um, apparently, nearly 2,000 of you have used it so Whoa. far. Oh, That's dang. awesome. Wowzers. We want you to continue using it because it's a great deal. DD Beyond is a really, really good product. If you're a new person to DD, it's probably the most cost effective way to get the books and all of the content you need to play as well. Mm. There you go, there's that. Our other sponsor is the amazing Brilliant. Want to improve? The amazing brilliant. 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 Want to improve your problem solving, logical thinking, or mathematic skills? Yes. Brilliant is a series of amazing courses that do just that. They help you develop new ways of thinking to solve problems and take you through examples step by step. It's an amazing tool and will benefit any would be dungeon master or DD player with improving various skills. And in fact, mm. we're going to cut to Kim. Because oh, hey. she has a puzzle. Oh, hey. To share with you. <laughs> Do you want to do it this week? No. No? Okay. Not at all. There's a voice here that's really good. I can do it if you okay. want. Okay. You can do the voice. I'll do the voice. You can do the voice. Okay. So, this week's puzzle is you wake up to find yourself face down on the cavern floor. Your head throbs where it was struck by a soup ladle? There's a scuffle of claws near you, and you look up. <laughs> a little cobalt stands oh in front of you, wagging <laughs> the offending ladle. Welcome to my domain, stinky human. You'll be my slave here, and I have a lot of laundry that needs doing. Unless, unless you can solve my riddle. It's a tricksy one. The cobalt stands aside, and you see matchsticks laid out on the floor. They form several <laughs> numbers. You, you see the numbers? I know many numbers. Do you know many numbers? Because I want you to make the largest number you can. But you, you're only allowed to move exactly two matches. No more, no less. So, intrepid human, what is the largest number you can make by only moving two matches from this configuration oh. here? I've got it. I've nailed it already. Because I read the course on brilliant.org. Nice. Oh. Great. And the sheet that I've like, put all the answers No, I actually, on. I, I saw this one on Brilliant before yeah. you did the sheet. So you too can cheat by going yeah. to brilliant.org. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> and then you'll know the answer, which we'll reveal at the end of today's episode. Oh, yeah. well, I can only yeah. move two matches. Okay. Only two. Otherwise only two you matches. are a slave to a cobalt forever. Yeah, I think I've got one as well. There you go. So thanks for that. We'll see. Let's come back to me. <laughs> Talk to me more stuff. No, bring it back. I had a good no. one. Uh, shut up. Oh. Uh, so that's it. Thank you very much to both of our sponsors. Thank You're amazing. You. We love you. Thanks for supporting the show. You let us do awesome D&D stuff. Cheers then. Speaking of awesome D&D stuff. Cheers. Would you like some more? Yeah. No. Would you yes. like some more D&D streams? Yes. From, from us. Crew? Well, we're doing a brand new 12 part mini series in collaboration with Wizards of the Coast and Idol Champions. Yay. This new series is going to be live streamed on Mondays at 6 p.m. Tomorrow. BST, tomorrow. Starting tomorrow. Tomorrow. On both twitch.tv forward slash high rollers DD and twitch.tv forward slash DND. Where? They're not going to be on the Yogscast Twitch. They're on twitch.tv forward slash high rollers DD and twitch.tv forward slash DND. Yes. You can check you those out there. You should always follow us on Twitter at high rollers DD where we will tell you when we go live and where we go live and link you to it. All of that, that is good. the best thing to do. That's the good stuff. Yeah. You can check that out. Um, the new series is called High Rollers, A Rogue's Gambit. And it's a Mission Impossible, James Bond style adventure that uses parts from the brand new module, Dragon Heist, which is coming out on September 18th. It's a really awesome adventure. I've been reading it. Tom Hazel, some... are you playing Idol Champions right No. Hang on, no. I'm going to get to that, I'm going to get to that. Keep it, keep it, keep the, keep the joke. 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not a joke. You got land to see it, some sneak land peeks. it. <laughs> you got to see some sneak peeks of Dragon Heist at the stream of Many Eyes that I was a big part of. Check out High Rollers of Rogue's Gambit. Uh, it's going to be featuring different parts from the module, but it won't necessarily be a spoiler because there are multiple ways for you to run this particular module. We're also collaborating yeah. with Idol Champions for this mini series. Say what? Say we'll be relying on Idol Champions. Idol Champions. Uh, me playing <laughs> Idol Champions right now? No. Uh, so uh, he's trying to get us dice and yes. <laughs> well, what I was going to say is we'll be relying on you guys playing the game, which is free to play, uh, to help load up oh. a pool of dice that we're going to be using to help the party succeed in their dangerous missions. We'll have a code for a free golden chest every stream, and everyone who plays can help contribute. So you don't need to pay or anything like that. You just need. To Sign up, play Please Idol play. Champions. We need your help because we really need those extra dice. I mean, you've Otherwise, seen how badly we roll. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> uh, I've generated 10 dice already. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Tom Hazel. <laughs> so you can check that out. There'll be more information on the stream. High rolls of Rogue's Gambit, no, no. as mentioned on those ones. And the very last thing before we go into it, we're going to have some brand new merch hitting the store very soon. Can I'm... you tell? What kind of merch? Because we're all just, all of us are wearing. <laughs> No, there we go. T-shirt! Aroas represent! So everyone's got a show. <sighs> this brand new Aroas shirt will be hitting stored at yogscast.com this week. Uh, we also have the plastic dice set, hoodies, mugs, and much, much more. Check it out, stored at yogscast.com. Go to the High Rollers creator page and you can buy loads of cool stuff. There! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Don't we have bags as well? Soon! Soon! Yeah. Soon. soon we'll have soon. tote bags. More well. stuff soon. Tote your stuff. Yeah. So, Check High Rollers D&D on Twitter. With all of that done... Can I make a quick announcement? Ooh! <laughs> yes, go on. Hang on. <laughs> if you like making fan art for us, please email highrollersdnd at gmail.com for us to be able to use it in a fan art video. There's going to be a fan art video that was two weeks ago played at the break with all the information, and you can goggle and ogle Ooh. at all the fan art Ooh. there. But yeah, please send it in to highrollersdnd at gmail.com for us to be able to use it, and otherwise just post it anywhere. That's cool. Boom. And now, with that done, we're going to play the Eros intro video, and after that, we'll start today's episode. Yay. Thank you. We're back now. We're live. We're just discussing everyone's notes, and Kim was showing off at how neat hers was because she wants a gold star. No a teacher. Look at um, this. I already know I'm great. I got to send this. Yeah. You I got to send those. Look, podcast yeah. starts now, Chris Trot. We'll have to do that in a minute. Well, you should have mentioned these first. I should have mentioned. Them. Somebody <laughs> else could have done it as well. It's okay. It's only me editing it. Look, look at this. Uh, Kirsten Salumia I sent got us. One. Some figurines. Little figurines, thank you uh, very much. One for each of us and a Callie as well. Apparently, the sentry glows in the dark as well. Yeah, Ooh. So, Badass. very, very cool. So thank you very cute. much. I actually have a character to represent me <laughs> for things. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Right. right here. Shall we start? Let's do a recap of last episode of High Rollers. At the very start of this campaign, the party were aboard a skyship called the Sparrow Blade, which crashed into a dangerous part of the lowlands called the Bitterwood. The party met two acolytes of the goddess Siaska, who were traveling with a young girl called Valor. Um, also aboard the airship was a dwarven merchant called Arval Dagos. When the ship crashed, Arval was injured, and after several encounters with local wild elves, the party eventually made their way to a town called Rose Hall, about a week's travel north. In Rose Hall, the party found themselves uh, lodgings, whilst their companions had to stay out in the barn as they had lost their coin in the crash. They had set to finding the funds to heal Arval's injuries, and so had gone to explore a large chasm called Dwalinden in search of treasure, as well as possible information about the mysterious race known as the Guardians. Descending into the chasm, Quillick 
fell after the rope they used to climb down broke free, leaving them stranded. Down in the depths, they discovered a trio of buildings that had remained intact despite the destruction, but they were attacked by ghoulish creatures as well as a feral guardian that seemed to have some connection to the local smith. They found a few, a few secure metal containers, one of which contained a magical hammer, as well as some quality steel ingots, and a set of wyvernhide. Uh, clearing out more of the ghouls, the party still have a few buildings to clear, uh, but must wait for the following day for Nova to regain her ability to levitate to get them out of the chasm. And that is where we begin today's episode. Okay. The chasm of Dwalin Den is dark. As you've ventured deeper and deeper into the chasm itself, uh, the light from above has faded to almost nothing. The stench of the dead creatures that you had slain wafts through the chasm with nowhere to go, just lingers, this putrid, decaying smell of rot uh, assaults your senses. Dust kind of clings in the air where it's been kicked up from the, the ground and the buildings and the various ruins. But you know that there are still two buildings left to explore that uh, may contain treasures for you to find. Um, the weariness of the battles begins to weigh on you for your muscles quite heavy and sore, but otherwise uh, you are fit to continue. Okay. Um, Ayla seems to become more of herself <laughs> after being a bit quiet for the last few sessions. The fight really stirred her up. Yeah. I don't yeah. know where I am. Yeah. Bottom of the castle. Am I still alive? Yeah. Yes, yeah. you are still Keep alive. I think I, I think yeah. I had to use most of your hit dice on a short rest though. Yeah, so. I'm not looking great. Fantastic. Yeah, I think everybody is kind of in a pretty beat up thing. Uh, Sentry, except Nova, who never takes damage, become the new Reynard. Uh, hey! Sentry now has a new uh, sort of like metallic bracer, which uh, contains this uh, fusion lance or some sort of laser weapon. You said lasers laser. when you're no, near! Out of character, I am describing the weapon. In character, there it's is a heat no beam. Such heat beam. Yeah, sure. It's a heat beam. Yeah, uh, which you recovered and have now Nova uh, spent some time attaching to Sentry's frame. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, and yeah, you are left. There is the long, uh, what appeared to be some sort of workhouse um, that you, the ghouls had come out of that you'd ambushed several ghouls from. But there was also a, a store further down that Sentry had scouted with Echo, uh, which was called uh, Erg Ergot's Imp Emporium. Yeah. Uh, and we looted the people. You've, you've not been into either of these no. two buildings? No, we yet. looted the people. You, uh, the ghouls had nothing on them. The ghouls They're were ghouls. just... There were around. rations and stuff nearby though. That right? was inside in the, the work. In, yeah, inside I think the Echo yeah. saw some bodies. Yeah, he saw young. something like yeah. shining. He, Echo saw like um, was weapons and yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. Just like us. Yeah, weird. Time <laughs> vortex. <laughs> uh, cool, I guess. I to a... the longhouse! No, 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 but... Nova. I need a moment, please. Okay. It's just the smell, and I'm very weak. Four, five, a moment, what? Six. I'm just calculating how long a moment is. Seven. What do you mean calculating? You're just gonna keep going until you say the moment's over. Ten. Please just stop. Just stop it. Just, just end. Well, I'm going to lie Ten. here and do this. Put my fingers in my ears. Yeah. My very nice pointy ears, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Lucius sits on the kind of cold stone ground. Um, most of it is still these flat, unusual cobblestones. Dusty, but somewhat clean and um, free of debris. Um, just sits down, puts his fingers in his ears. You'll take out an embroidered handkerchief. You have your fingers in your ears. I'll take out an embroidered handkerchief and just put it over my face and then and put my fingers in my ears. Okay. Do you like lie down <sighs> or just sat down like looking up? Yes. Okay. Just lying down flat. So, he just <laughs> lies down completely I can't do this anymore. I mean, if he's hoping for healing of any kind, I am completely out of power. I'm hoping for some sort of healing. Oh, he can hear us. <laughs> <laughs> Muffled, but yes! <laughs> he's shouting quite loudly, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, is there anything else here? Can anyth anyone hear anything? There might be some, like, healing potions in the thing, in the longhouse. Well, I'm just thinking, if we just leave him here. Oh, he's definitely gonna die if we leave him here. Okay. Like well, how about I take one ankle, you take the other. I only have one arm. Sentry, you could just lift his entire body. I can drag tiny. him along, it's fine. Yeah, ankles. Happy to. I lift up one of his Lucius' ankles <laughs> and hand it oh, <laughs> Get off me, <laughs> you brute. He like kicks you a little Stop bit. Stop it. We're just bringing off. you with us because you might die here on your you own. You to stretch my linen. <laughs> <laughs> if continue on, we can't leave you here. 
got to keep going. I'm so weak, Sentry. It's not like I'm made. It's true. You might be a liability. That's why Plant I can't life. drag you. <laughs> and metallic body. That's I why I can't to. drag you. You can just. Why are you not all tired like me? Mm. I used to work out and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's so draining. You're not mentally worn out, Nova. No. We just killed ghouls. Yep. Did a very good job. Yep. You guys, are, I don't understand. At the very least, Lucius, could we just get into one of these buildings? You'll be safer in there. How about the one with all the dead bodies? Perfect. How about the one with all the dead bodies in? It will smell fantastic. Yeah. I'm going to keep the handkerchief on my face, just put my hand on Sentry's shoulder <laughs> and lead the way. <laughs> like, lead the way. Shore him up. <laughs> the stench is unbelievable. It's yeah, fine, so don't worry. As, as the five of you draw closer to the workhouse, the smell is quite overpowering. There is... Uh, I use gust. Most of the stuff, yeah, if you, you use the cantrip gust to try and blow away some of the smell, um, you send a scattering of what was probably uh, a mixture of like dust, uh, decayed sort of like flesh, um, probably some bone dust as well of like Ugh. long dead Question remains. Just made it worse. <laughs> Most of the bodies in here it's were bones, they're mostly <laughs> skeletal. You can see that a few things have survived, like very, very torn, tattered remnants of cloth and leather. The main thing which is causing the smell is there's probably, I'd say, four or five bodies that are in varying states of decay. One of which looks like, I mean, it's putrid. It's like turned mostly to like a thick, gooey mess. Um, it's probably several months old. One of them seems a bit more recent, probably about a couple of weeks, but it still stinks. Are they bloated? Yeah, the, most of them are bloated. Like they've they been like underwater. They've been, not underwater necessarily, but moisture certainly has gotten to them. Uh, they also look like they've been eaten. Most of them have parts of them missing, bite marks, um, look like they've been shredded, entrails have been consumed. Uh, I'm going to cast Dancing Lights. Okay. But so because you... I'm, I can't see, they're kind of like bouncing off walls and stuff. So just kind of Not boom, really. Boom, 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 like Sometimes little hitting the party. Like, <laughs> well, they kind of just pass through people because oh, uh, they're just like illusory lights. But you, you send them out everywhere, they kind of bounce off the walls, scatter around. A mini disco. And they cast uh, this multicolored light all over this, this uh, workhouse. Of which you can see that there were once remnants of work tables, artisan tools, but most of them have either rotten away or just fallen into disrepair. There are, however, glimmers of um, metal or equipment that you can see around. Um, looking around at a glance, you can see that there is at least one backpack uh, that is near one of the more recently dead bodies that appears to have some metal. You can see like a lantern hanging off its side. Um, it seems to have a shovel sticking out of it, maybe some other things built in. Um, you also glance the tips of arrows, like just the metal glinting off this, this uh, light, which is kind of floating through the room. Um, a quiver of arrows, uh, just buried under a lot of like these bodies and skeletal remains. Um, you think that you'd probably need to actually like search through this, however, if you want to actually go through it thoroughly, you're going to have to like pull bodies away and, and start actively searching. Mm -hmm. I will... No, it's not going to help there. I will do so. Yeah, uh, I'll start Sentry, how are you for diseases? Um... Like, do you get them? Because if, if I go rooting through this... Well, Ayla and Nova, I'd like you to do two things. One, both of you can make investigation checks, and then you can both make constitution saving throws. 17 mm -hmm. on the investigation. Mm -hmm. What'd you get, Ayla? Nine. Yep. Cocked. Yeah. Sure. That's cocked, isn't it? Yeah. Thirteen for saving. Okay. Yeah, cocked. That's <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> Constitution. Yes. Eight. Eight. Apparently, okay. sorry, um, I have a passive in, uh, investigation of like eighteen. Is mm -hmm. that a thing? Well, you're not actively searching. You just walked into the building, like. I have passive investigation of twelve. Yeah. Okay. I just didn't know if that was a thing. I mean, it would be if you were like walking around, but I'm assuming at this point Quill has just kind of stood in the entryway of the room, Powering. having yeah. just seen stuff. And your perception check up. is what lets you see that there are things scattered around. Okay. okay. Um, I was just wondering what it was. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's in passive investigation. If you were walking down a corridor, you'd probably spot that there would be traps and stuff, you know, and things Ooh. like that, or like ways to disable them. Also, oh, there might be like, you know, you might walk into a room and notice a safe without having to make a check. Oh, but okay. here is because you're standing still, you're not actively looking, um, which is why it works that way. So with the 17 investigation, Nova, you find, uh, and with Ayla kind of assisting you, the two of you find the following. Um, you find a collection of equipment which is scattered all around this workroom. It looks like it's from different bodies, from different time periods. Um, but you find uh, two climbers kits, 
Mm-hmm. Three torches. Duracell. A lantern. No. Wick torches. Pitch torches. Wick. A crowbar. <laughs> all mundane gear. Shovel. Mm-hmm. A longbow. These are all magical, right? <laughs> yeah, they all cast uh, levitate. Uh, 20 arrows in a quiver, a leather quiver. Ooh. On one of the bodies, which appears to be a wild elf, um, no tarn. It looks very similar to the ones that you fought out in the Bitterwood. One of these kind of more savage looking oh. wild elves. Uh, two scimitars, curved blades. Cool. Um, curved engraved, sword. Yeah, curved sword. Who'd have thought? Uh, engraved with almost, you think, maybe animal bone for like the hilt, which is then being wrapped in leather. Cool. And engraved. Um, also tucked into his belt. Nova, you're the one that finds this with a 17 investigation. Tucked into the wild elf's belt. You see, he looks like he has a dagger in a small sheath, but you notice that the metal, it reflects the light differently to everything else. And pulling it free, um, the metal is extremely, extremely shiny, as in almost like a platinum effect. Um, I don't think you would recognize what it is on sight, but yeah, it's, it's not a normal looking metal. Mm-hmm. Um, it feels very light. When you pick up the dagger, it's incredibly light as well. Cool. Mm. Very, very well made. Sweet. Yep. That's what you find. Ooh. What does everybody see? I got knives. More oh, knives. the other thing, while you're going through the bodies, Nova, um, I mean, you're like pulling bodies apart and things like that with your hands. You get like kind of goo and, and oh. stuff and it does like, you like know, pick it up the and nicks in your hands from climbing and things like that. You, it stings a little bit, you kind of wipe your hands off and yeah, it just kind of leaves you with like a stinging feeling in your hands. Cool. Oh, <laughs> that no. smile. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to turn around with like my gore covered hands and the scimitars and just be like, I got knives. Oh. Just like gross. Yeah. <laughs> they're, really, they're really nice knives. <laughs> Uh, they're, they're slightly longer than a knife. They'd probably be more akin to a short sword, kind of sort mm. of good, sort of no, 24 no. to 30 inches long. Um, curved blade. Stabby. No, curved blade, like a cutting blade. Oh, okay. Do they like come with scabbards? Like classic scimitar. Yeah. Mm. Put them away. Dunno. Stop it. You're getting goop everywhere. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're yeah. goop. There's not really much clear space in this room. Most of it is covered with gore. Um, okay. Like entrails that have been pulled out of bodies, or bones, or dust, um, or just collapsed rock has all filled this room. Uh, if you wanted to rest in here, you would need to clear some space away by exerting some sort of effort. So we need to wait until the next day then for uh, for my levitation. You don't have to. You could try and climb out. I mean, we've got two climbers. Th- th- However, it's two hundred and fifty so foot so. climb. Yeah. Well, we, we now have three climbers kits. One, no, the, the first one basically was destroyed when all okay. the rope and pitons broke. Well, I mean, only one of us climb. needs to climb up and then cast the rope down. Yeah. Um, being on the outside, can I see like blood drag marks and things into the building? Yes. Okay. Yes, Just very much so. Now, now with the, your investigation and perception, yeah, you, you notice it's old, faded. Um, the problem is, is here it seems like a lot of dust and debris falls down, which kind of obscures it. But these have definitely been dragged from various parts of this chasm, um, probably from the area that you climbed down from. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Can we leave this now? I want to go check out the Emporium. The what? The Emporium. We well, you know it's just going to be covered in bodies and whatnot. I don't know. Could be well, some other bits. Maybe, maybe more ghouls. I mean, it's, it's called Urgut's Emporium, and to me that sounds like potions and... Sounds like more corpses with their stomachs hanging out. It mm. sounds like we could just send Echo down there to find Scout out. out. That's true. Could do. Well, I'll send Echo up. Okay. Do you want to focus through his senses, or are you yeah. just going to send him out? Okay. So Sentry shuts down, and you you instill your uh, senses into Echo and send him pootling along. Pootling. Um, <laughs> he kind of floats through the air. You see that the the Emporium is a, another squat building, like the blacksmiths. The doorway is no certainly no taller than five feet high. There are no real windows. There are, again, just these thin slits like there were in the blacksmiths um, with a small sign outside. You send him inside, and there are stone shelves built into the walls, like, you know, chiseled into the stone of the building itself. The shelves have collapsed or have been crushed through fallen parts of the roof. There is probably remnants of, like, you know, rotten wood or thing or linens, like very old, old, old linens that have just decayed into nothing. Um... 
and Echo looking around, you don't see much of anything. It almost all looks completely ruined. Okay. Um, you don't see any creatures. You don't hear anything uh, moving around in there. It just looks like a ruined store. Okay. Um, but yeah, looking around, you don't see any sign of... Uh, you certainly don't see a sign of a register or chests or anything like that. It all seems to be built into stone, okay. and most of it seems to have collapsed. Okay. I'll tell that to you guys. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it, it looks like it's in disrepair. There's not a whole lot in there from what Echo could see. Any bodies? No bodies. No bodies. No bodies. Any living things? Not from what Echo could see, no. Can Echo see magic? Can Echo see magic? No. Echo can't see magic. You would need to detect magic as a spell yeah. to see magic. Echo can just perceive normally. I think he can see in the dark, that's about it. Does Echo have like a spotlight? <laughs> But you could certainly, like, maybe that's something you could oh, invest magic or invest gold into making. Mm -hmm. You could yeah. give him some sort of, like, ability to cast a light spell, and then he'd be, like, mm, like a little oh. spotlight. Out of interest, <laughs> how long ago in hours do you think the Guardian fight was? Oh, in hours, like, less than an hour, because I think yeah. you guys had, like, a, maybe, maybe, like, two hours, because you had a short rest. Yeah. I think I'm still concentrating uh, detect magic. I think it costs last ten minutes, doesn't it? Or is yeah. It <laughs> but didn't, didn't you... I mean, you could cast yeah. it as another ritual, though. Mm, yeah. Because it only takes, you, it oh, takes yeah. you ten minutes to yeah, cast it as a ritual. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Also, you did a fight, so... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but, well, I'm just, I just thought it was an hour long. Um, yeah, I guess I could start doing a concentrating that to see if I can discover anything. What are you doing, Birdie? I think doing, it's a 60-foot range. You'd need to be looking in the building if you wanted to analyze uh, that. How yeah, far away well, is the building from where we're currently? Oh, like, not far, like 30, 40 feet. It's, like, just down a street. It's almost like you guys are on, like, a main street. Of a, of a city or a town that has, most of it has collapsed in around it and most of the buildings have been crushed, but these few buildings are the surviving ones that you can actually access. Mm. There are other buildings, but they've either been completely crushed by the chasm and the rock, you know, either crushed underneath something heavy or they've been crushed, you know, sideways, um, or they just look abandoned. Like looking in them, there's just no sign that there's even anything left inside. What's the. Um... What does ritual actually look like? If I'm for 10 minutes, what am I doing in those 10 You'll, minutes? You'd be doing things like, it's up to you, like how your spells look, I kind of leave to you guys, but the kind of things you might expect would be like, you know, laying out crystals and empowering them that you then hold up to look through, mm. or it could be you just reciting a prayer. It depends on the spell casting and what you want it to be. It could just be you meditating for 10 minutes to focus your inner mind's yeah, eye that's on what I was strange thinking. style. So it is something that I'd actively have to be doing yes. constantly for those 10 yes. minutes. You, you can not do like, nothing else. It's not like I can just walk around with a no. hand to my forehead. No. <laughs> you have to sit down and spend 10 minutes concentrating or doing something to prepare this ritual. Okay, uh, in that case, I will get down on one knee and put the hand over my eyes and just stay there for like 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, yeah. Betty, have, you got, a, have you got a headache? Shh. What is it? Shut shut up. Got a migraine? Shut up. Shut I've up. got some medication. Shut, shut, shut up. Do you want me to hear him? Lucia, shut up. <laughs> I think he's got a headache, everybody. Maybe it's all the smells. Ayla? Yeah? Yeah, please. <laughs> oh! <laughs> a swift backhand. I'm leaving this anyway. Did you say there's no bad news? Any time. No Any time. There's no, no bad news, no, but it's, I, think, I think we're trying to figure out what's going on. It's best, it's best we just stick together for now in case there's... But the smell is just unbelievable. I, the smell well, is bad everywhere. Can I spend this time trying to just like clean? The goop off my hands. Yeah, like, yeah. Do you have like water, like a canteen or something? I've got three days of rations, so does yeah. that include water? Yeah, you'd have like three. You'd I have think have it was like, bread. Like, <laughs> you have like a day's worth of water, and you're kind of like doing that, and then wiping off on some cloth, maybe that you either like a cloak or something like that, or you know, on your scarf if you don't have anything else. But you have to like wipe your hands clean. Um, yeah, just stings. There is like a, a faint stinging sensation, um, but for the time being, you feel okay. Rash. You should keep an eye on that. Mm, yeah, I haven't had any uh, vaccinations recently. Mm. What, what are those? What? They're like magic spells and potions that like make you resistant to certain illnesses. Is there anything to get like rid of measles. Birdie's headache? That sounds useful. No. No. Poor Birdie, look at him. Or you could just think of not even saying anything. Tiny <laughs> Birdie brain. I mean, Ava, you, you were wading through <laughs> the same stuff and... You mean, you've got like a... You were wiping off like wounds from, you know, you know gore from your hands as well, but... Yeah, but you He's are like fine. a nature lady. I'm, I've got... You know what? You know what it is? It's just years of learning to suck it up and get on with it. Exactly. Well, I've got soft book hands. So, mm, that's know. very true. Compare very my true. soft hands to your calloused hands. I mean... Ooh. Sure, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah? going to walk away really quietly. <laughs> 
So you have this conversation about 10 minutes passes. Quillock, you feel the connection in your mind's eye. Yeah. And as you open your eyes, yeah, there is a, you know, you look around your companions, you can see the faint magical aura around Sentry, around the Howling Gale, Aela's Hammer, around Tiangong. I feel like around my eyes, auras. there's like a very, very faint, like purple sheen across sure. them as well. So you, when you all look at Quillock, you can see this faint purple sheen. He's doing things. Is my new doing... dagger? I can see everything. <laughs> Yeah, that's, um, where did you, is it, was that in there? The, so the wild elf. So, when Nova there. holds out the dagger, uh, Quilek and um, Lucius, you would both recognise it as Ethereum Alloy. So it is a dagger which has been, it's steel that has been infused with Ethereum to make it lighter and, and sharper and, and tougher. Um, it's quite, it's expensive, like, it, you know, it's not like the same as making a magical weapon, but it is generally used to create very expensive arms and armour. Um, Oh. Can I use a longbow? Uh, don't see why not, if you're proficient with martial weapons. That right there is the finest sure you alloy you'll I ever see. So. Yes, uh, Nova, that uh, dagger, it's um, Ethereum, it's the same thing. Have you, have you still got the core? The mm. Ethereum core? Yes, it's I do. It's made of the same stuff as that. Right? Cool. So it's lightweight, it's adaptable. Mm. Mm. And, uh, so, yeah. the fact that you guys know what it is, because it's not magical, uh, Ethereum alloy weapons have plus one to hit, but they don't get any bonuses to damage. So it has a plus okay. one to hit. Um, Ooh, they're also considerably yes. lighter. If you have Ethereum-made armor, it tends to be much, much lighter um, and is generally better for you know being able to use your own natural agility to defend yourself as well as the physical armor. So it benefits medium armor rather than heavy armor. So it's not. So I'm not seeing any magic in it at all. It's, it's not magical. Ethereum. It's just it's because just the Ethereum the itself material. keeps its edge. It makes it lighter, easier to use. So it means that you're better at Best hitting metal. with it. Yeah. Yeah. Do I know that you have worked with Ethereum for? You probably mentioned will. It. I think you mentioned, mentioned that your dad. Yeah. You've you mentioned what the family yeah. does. Yeah, yeah, the Alanasto family yeah. does. Well, Lucius, do you know how much something like this would be worth? I mean, it's very nice dagger. I I'm could sure. use it. I know how to use yeah, daggers. Yeah, any, anybody can work out how much. If you want to work out how much something costs, um, generally anybody who has a vague relevance or has a vague understanding, you can make an intelligence check. <laughs> if any of you are proficient with Smith's tools, I will let you use your proficiency bonus. Okay, mm -hmm. well, I guess I'm asking about it, so I'll. Sure. I'll go for that. 17. Yeah, so like, 17? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Anybody, else Bad. Make hmm? Anybody else making a check? No. Uh, no, I no. don't know. So yeah, Lucius, um, looking at that, yeah, you, you would have a vague idea of how much these are worth. Um, Ethereum weapons, it depends on what weapon they're used to make. Obviously, things like a longsword will be more expensive than a dagger because the amount of Ethereum used. Looking at that dagger, you'd estimate around 300 gold for that one dagger. Usually daddy gives them to me for free, birthdays and whatnot. But I, I've seen him sell some to a friend, second hand, mm -hmm. for about 250 gold. 250 gold? So that's second hand. So I imagine maybe 300. I mean that in, on its own is more gold than we were going to get from those other jobs. Is it? Well yes, it was 200 that's a lot, is it? Yeah, it's sell that. quite a bit, yes. Sell that, 250 fix. gold is a lot of money, Lucius. Is it? Yes. He had a couple of shoes for that, I suppose. Just this shoes. alone will fix Arvel's leg. Yes. Exactly. Swoosh, swoosh. Fix the leg, problem solved. Good to go. Maybe a cologne of some kind, but, but a very small bottle. What? 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 300 gold. No. That's a lot of money to spend on a small bottle. Just to make yourself anything. smell better. Yes, what? but the flowers is are very red. And hybrid flowers, you get really potent smells. But 300 very gold? Very exotic. Bread hybrid flowers, that doesn't cost that much. Well, the import costs and whatnot. Mm. And yeah, then the branding. Like, you're on, you understand trade a little bit <laughs> to your background as a messenger. Yeah. I mean, if Lucius is spending 300 gold on cologne, he's being ripped off <laughs> really bad. Yeah. Even for like expensive stuff. That is a lot of money. They said it's the only bottle in Aroeth. <laughs> the only bottle? And what was it called, this? Um. I think it's called like fraudster or something like edgy was, like that. It was yes. called fraudster. Yes. Wow, on the nose. I love it. It's very underground, you know. Yeah. Like I'm a lowlander. Ah, oh, I see. Oh. Like the musty Is that what smell. it smelled like? I'm just gonna let it go now. Told, there's yeah. no point. Really. It's like wild elf roaming flowers that could kill you or whatnot, and then they had to fight them to get the to squeeze the perfume. And they just called it fraudster. Yes. You know what? I could probably make you some of that. You know, being a wild elf and stuff. You can? If you have 300 gold, I could probably make some. Well, I so don't you think could you have, could. You could have a constant supply of it. It's a very delicate art. 
We could make it, it out of the remains of, the of that wild elf. Mm, it would. I wish I had that on me That's right true. now. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> he was pretty splashy already. <laughs> <laughs> we could just jar some of that right up. <laughs> I, I could, I could help you out really. As long yeah. as if you've got the funds, then I can, I can make that happen. Yes, I have the funding. Did you even like the smell of it? Excellent. Oh it's a, well. You know, it's, a, it's an acquired taste, right? Obviously. So no, that smell. It smelled a bit putrid, I'll okay. be honest, but not as bad as this room. But it was expensive, so really? it had to be good. If it's highly valuable, mm. it's got to be good, right? <laughs> <laughs> this conversation just <laughs> echoes <laughs> through the chasm. That's a logic. I mean, you're st just stood in darkness. Occasionally, the lights have to be resummoned to provide light around this horrible. Are we right Wait, down. Has that been ten minutes? minutes? Disgusting <laughs> ring. You've done it. You've done it. Right? No, I know, but has it been ten minutes since I since I did that? Yeah. Has no. he seen anything okay, in here? It's been a few minutes. minutes. I want you are just stood in the middle of this <laughs> disgusting. Wasted work. so much time. I wanted to go over. Sentry still just boring. like eyes closed, echoes like. <laughs> <laughs> Because I wanted to use the detect magic yeah. and walk over to the important. Yeah, did you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I just remembered what I was meant to do. <laughs> so you're gonna wake up. You're gonna head your way over to the important. Yeah. Okay. Anybody going with Quill? I'll send an echo out with him. Okay. okay. So, I'll go with, yeah. so, so everybody. Go over so everybody's going. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll yeah. come anyway. I want to not be in this room. <laughs> okay. So you all head, make sentry. your way there. Um, anybody <laughs> push me? <laughs> <laughs> anybody over five feet has to crouch again to get into it, um, and you see pretty much what Echo saw, which is. A ruined store, some sort of general store maybe? Ruined stone shelves, broken desk, not really much else. Quillek, with your passive investigation, mm -hmm. as I wrote this down, uh, you actually notice that one of this stone, part of the stone wall, just where the counter would have been, behind it, set into the like lowest part of the floor, yeah. you think might be some sort of hidden, like slidable stone out, like possibly like uh, a okay. safe or something like that. And can I see any magic since I've got detect magic? Obviously. The safe is not magical, okay. but whatever is inside, your detect magic spell can't penetrate the safe. Huh. Hmm. Okay. So it's just a thick safe. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. I reckon if we undercut the fraudster by at least three gold, that would then, you know, add market value and we'd be able to outsell fraudster. <laughs> what? Think... Are we still talking about this? Yes. Mm, okay. No, really we'll pick up on attention. this conversation over drinks later, and I definitely think that it's a great business venture, especially for people like you. I think a lot of people like you mm. are going to want it, and I can make Absolutely. that happen. Absolutely. For, for gold. It's We'd have huge. to call it something else, so we can't call it for gold. Yeah. Nova's going to look at Ayla, we'll and like in all off. seriousness, like completely serious, like, does that mean I need to splash, like, scoop up more of that splashy wild elf goop? No. It's fine. Okay. Because I thought that's what we were going to sell. No, that's she fine. knows about okay. Probably like seven hybrid. minutes since Quill cool cast the spell. Anyway, uh, I've already seen it. Down there, uh, there's a safe. So. Oh, down well, where then? So yeah, when Quill points it out, you can see that part of the stone wall uh, is ever so slightly raised from the rest of it. Um, and if anybody goes down, you can just, it basically slides, it like rotates and reveals a metal safe. Hmm. Um, combination some sort of like twisting combination, uh -huh. like a stone pattern of numbers. You're smart. Um, it does, there is also a keyhole mm -hmm. uh, that looks like a key would also fit. Okay. Well, there might be a key around here. Mm. 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 Also, you could just try and figure out how to open. I, I don't really, just because no. I know numbers doesn't know I also, know how to do Also, a good hands shouldn't really well, touch things. That, mm. And I, I suggest we don't use acid to open this one. Well, the other go. option is this and I hold up the crowbar. <laughs> what about a heat beam? We could try that. Um, the Sophie also anything? holds up a metal wrist with the <laughs> beam laser. <laughs> beam. That's, Not yeah. laser. That's no. uh, can terrifying. Too big? Can see Maybe if I can too see big. Too big? Anywhere. Like yeah. around Make the a center investigation check. Oh, that was trash. No. Uh, Five. <laughs> so Ada begins like just throwing things to one side. <laughs> Go figure somewhere, guys. Like, I got this. Boxes, you know, broken ceramic urns, like pulling them apart. Yes, Whoops. acid's you, gonna really you probably destroy. Spend, like, <laughs> five minutes. The detect magic spell fades. Okay. Um, yeah. Can't um, find any. Now nah, you're gonna have key. to bust it open, Lucky. Sorry. You're the strong one. Well, so maybe what, you want me to crowbar it? Oh, we have a crowbar. Well, look at my muscles, and I point at my tiny, tiny. That hand. is true. I mean, there are no muscles. <laughs> yeah. You've been doing no push-ups, Nova. I've noticed but then some again, definition. <laughs> Sentry no. does have a bit of a, a bit um, of a good tool to use. I would here. like to see a scientific experiment and demonstration of this new 
Fire beam. Wait, Did hang you... on, hang on. Didn't someone find a key? I feel like someone found a key. Or <laughs> maybe I'm going insane, but I'm Could sure a key mad. was bird mentioned. Mad. I'm going bird mad. <laughs> <laughs> Fall back. <laughs> bird mad. Oh. Bird mad. No. I have no idea. Don't There's this funny thing about when you find stuff, you generally write it down. I haven't written anything down. Nova. You don't have it written down. Nova has no... You don't have it. No, no note of it. All I have is Daddy's briefcase <laughs> and disgusting rations. I didn't write anything down in this episode. Yeah. I have not written down anything about key. Nope. I was not here. None of you have however, a key then. But nope. I'm going to pat not. myself down, like my pockets, <laughs> like bags. <laughs> Can you roll an investigation <laughs> check on yourself? <laughs> I mean... Sentry, how about you test the beam like a tiny little, just a tiny... Burst of it, not on the safe. Just see to aim it and maybe... Very true. Wait, wait, wait. Doesn't this beam hurt you if you use it? It does, but I've got... cut. Well, regard, well hopefully there's not going to be any more enemies, right? You should be... Uh, well, well, the only enemy is yourself, clearly. Well, wait, it hurts, hurts is that a challenge? Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> it just... No, not at all. Very <laughs> weak. Fire, and then the coldness damages her. Yeah. Oh, Basically, with, it, it takes her own body heat to fire this heat beam. Oh. Yeah. She's like a fridge. Well, what, what was a fridge? Or a, 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 <laughs> a, a fire heater. Oh, God. That requires cold energy to make hot energy. Daddy said something about it. <laughs> He's very intelligent. Okay. So am I. Give it a try. 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 In, you yeah. want to try the, the beam? Try. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to aim it like so a rip all the loot. Like, you know from watching the it's Feral Guardian and with Nova's explanation, this is pretty. This is a pretty potent thing. You suspect right. it was probably used to like idea. heat whole ingots, like it was kind of used to get a, almost like a, a forge. Oh, yeah. There's a oh. possibility you can have finer control over it. Let's have you make. Oh dear. A, but Nova did not install that <laughs> mechanism. I think this is just going to be a straight up. There's a little cog inside. You just turned it up to full power. Eleven. Because this is this is based on like you. Focusing it, being able to like accurately aim it. No, let's say dex, actually. I'd say dexterity. Because this is about aim yeah. more than anything. Sure. You're trying to hit like the locked part and not the rest of the save. Okay. So it's d20 plus dex modifier. 13. My dex is plus zero. Two. It's two. Yeah, that one there. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, that's oh, con. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's zero. So it's 13. 13. Mm. <clears throat> okay. So uh, roll 3d6 for me. Oh, that's damage. Ba, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. I think the damage dice. <laughs> You're making a roll damage dice. You're such a warrior. She's destroyed the chest. A nine, Six. ten. Ten points. So you watch the sentry takes careful aim. Uh, is it on your right or left? I feel like it's going to be on my left. On your left. Yeah, because my um, right is my like bashing arm. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like underneath the shield. Yeah. So you kind of like it's kind of like it would fire out from under the shield yeah. if you fire it. So you kind of aim that. You can take careful aim. The beam comes out much larger than probably you expected. <laughs> you know, like a full on like, <laughs> like a Super Saiyan blast. Kind of small, <laughs> smaller than that. Uh, Mini. More like an Iron Man sort of like you know <laughs> repulsor. Eh? It hits the edge of the safe. Blows open a huge, like it melts through part of the stone, but it also burns <laughs> away the edge of the safe itself, and the door kind of <laughs> falls open. It was like, Yes! <laughs> uh, That's amazing! I believe, I can't remember exactly, I think it should take. You take six cold damage oh. as you feel yourself suddenly freezing cold from firing this this weapon. Nova's just oh. stood there with her goggles the over her eyes and her notebook, just like furiously like taking a manic notes. Smile as well. like, yeah, just like thumbs up. You, watch the the form. you almost begin to see ice crystals kind of slowly forming up, like part of her metal oh. body and stuff like that. Like rubbing my arm like. <laughs> Fascinating. Crikey. Incredible. I mean. So the safe time? door is open. Yeah, it's like blown open. The it's carved like a chunk out of the stone wall, <laughs> what is creating a hole there? that you can actually see is through. Is the hole like no. smoldering as well? Yeah, it's like such changing. power, such responsibility <sighs> required. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Don't. It's not like huge. It's like like this big. Yeah, but it's still like the smoldering hole. It's like, and it How hasn't gone like all the way through the stone either. It's gone deep into it, but it's not. Like burnt its way through solid stone. It's not like bzz, cut a doorway or anything like that. <laughs> How do you feel, Sentry? I feel my arm. My arm feels really cold. Like interesting. Really Maybe cold, but that was exhilarating. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I mean, I'll have to see if I can make some sort of upgrade. Hmm. Maybe. 
<laughs> you know, like start sketching. Does it and need an upgrade? Notes. Oh my god! Imagine if we upgraded it to be a bigger blast. Oh my goodness! No, 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 no. Bigger blast means more damage to Sentry. That's bad. Wait, wait. While your arm is cold, uh, put that against so the hot cold. chest to cool it. Okay. Don't, don't hurt yourself again. You can try it. That's I a just... terrible idea. So you put your arm next to it. I mean, the safe was the edge of the safer is glowing. Yeah. But. The rest of it seems fine. Okay. And you put your arm close enough to it, and it's, you can tell that you probably don't want to touch this thing. It's, yeah, no, it's, it's far too hot. hot. Okay. Well, Should when we give get it a back, moment, we will get you as many. You can probably use the crowbar to just <laughs> open the rest of the way. Okay. Well, what's inside then? Okay. So who's looking inside? Uh, yes, Sentry opened the box. So. I mean, yeah. Unless somebody wants to jump in there and look in. I guess I've run out of detect magic. Yeah, you haven't cast it again. Sure, I can look in if you want. Okay, Ada's gonna look in. Make it now. That's fine. <laughs> uh, so inside, you see that there is a um, there is a small wooden box. Okay. Looks like the safe must have been airtight because the wood is intact. Um, looks like a small like a small chest, like a tiny little chest that maybe you'd keep coins in. Mm. Alongside with that is a silver pocket watch with a very beautiful dwarven design. You also see a strange disc with a very thin crystalline top um, inscribed with arcane runes. Mm -hmm. It's probably, I'd say, about the size of a mug's top, you know, mm. like a small cup, um, but it's just like a flat metal disc with a crystalline top. Mm. And it's got arcane runes on it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Don't know what that is. But the, the Detect Magic spell's worn off, so. Yeah. Unless you want to cast it again, because it just takes 10 minutes. How um, thick is it? Can I do it as a paladin? That thick? I wonder. Huh? How thick is it? Uh, yeah, it's probably like a couple of coasters kind of thick. thick. Coasters thick, yeah. mug wide. Two, two, three coasters thick. This is very... <laughs> Look, I'm, I can't think of a way how, like... I'm trying to think of, like, what's that? Like, three inch diameter? About 45 thing. pencils wide. Like a Stroop Waffle is yes. a perfect example. Yes, like a Stroop Waffle. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like I really want a okay. Stroop Waffle. But a bit thicker. Okay. About, two Stroop Waffles. Maybe, like, an inch thick or so. Okay. Double Stroop Waffle. Uh, Nova, do you know anything about this disc? Can yeah. you read runes? No. Yeah. You're, you're book smart. Yeah. Can you read that? I can read. Suddenly very dumb. <laughs> no, I'm like, no, because I'm literally it's like, you distracted written, me from oh, writing okay. my notes, so I'm like, It's not a written language. Yeah. Looking at this, they are arcane runes. Yeah. So no, I can read all written languages, but this is magic. This is runes. This is spells. Oh, and, well, are you able to identify the runes? Can I look at you the can make an arcana check. Make an arcana check for me. Unless you can cast the identify spell, which I know you can't. It can't because they don't have a pearl. Can I stand over her shoulder and assist her? Sure. Make eight. a... Eight. Fifteen. Plus. Can I give her advantage? Uh, you can... Yeah, you would. That'd be the help action, yeah. But I'm going to change it because I don't like the way that, that works mechanically. You make an arcana check. And if you get over a certain amount... Twelve. Twelve? Uh, yeah, you can roll with an advantage. Okay. How are you assisting? Well, if you look at this rune from this way... Mansplaining. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I said 15 to start with, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I just pinged the dice. Uh, 15. So, okay, so 15 was the highest, and with Lucius' help. Yeah, looking with Lucius and Nova looking at it, you identify some of the runes. There's definitely illusion magic. This uh, device seems to utilize some sort of illusionary magic. You also get the sense that it also has the ability to... Um, you get the sense that it has the ability to do something about maybe recording an image and then displaying it, but you're not quite sure how it works. You'd probably need to spend time experimenting with it, perhaps over a short rest, mm. to figure out what it does. Help me, Bambanobi. You're my only hope. <laughs> maybe that's what's in it. <laughs> I don't say that. <laughs> um, my immersion! And you said the wooden box is like a coin box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you shake yeah. it, there's coins in it. Can I see how many coins? Yeah, you open it up. There's about 30 coins in it, but these are old coins. Um, these are pre-sundering coins. Nice. They're worth they're worth the coins, gold, basically. Yeah. Ah. So it's sixty golds worth of old coins. Nice. Um, I, I hold the disc and I'm like, do you mind? A silver pocket watch, by the way. Um, anybody, I will tell you, because this is an art object. It's not a magic item. It's worth about fifty gold. I will it's take that. Pure silver. Do. do you mind if I take this? Like, it seems like some kind of illusionary device, and I think if I look at it a yeah, bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I might be able it's to figure out what it is. Isn't it? it looks like it records, records information of some kind. If its yeah. name has anything wrong like with five letters. Like a book, but letters. not. Yeah, because that room okay. there is the room is for image. Is it worth money? Hmm. Yes. Do I care? Fascinating. It, enjoy, though. I will. Enjoy. I will. I really will. 
really anything to take her mind I off thinking so about upgrading Sentry. I think is a benefit. Ah, oh, but we should do Sentry. that though. Ooh, I'm just I, for her well-being, maybe not. We could give Sentry a memory upgrade. Do you think we could find another one? Do you know like, what? Strap it onto my hammer. <laughs> it's loose. It's really fire, memory. laser beam. <laughs> then I can hit someone in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, sure, Let's yeah. Let's start that. That sounds like something we'll be able to do. Quiet echoes of your conversation just echo through this empty stone now, hall. This room, the chasm. this room seems like a good place to have a nappy. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. nappy? There's no ghouls, there's no corpse or entrails. It's, the smell's a little bit less. We could sleep here. This place just smells old and dead. Like, nothing's been here for a long time. It has that stale tomb-like smell of just dust and time the, that has passed here. The ghouls that were outside, were they dwarf? They were dwarven-ish, yes. Dwarven-ish, okay. Small. They yeah. were small, squat, muscular, but yeah. they, they were warped, deformed. They didn't look like any dwarf you've ever met. Their limbs were longer, they had claws and fangs, most of their hair had gone. Yeah, no, it was just mainly because other than if it wasn't, then we hadn't seen any dwarves down here in this dwarven town, then it would have been weird. But okay, don't worry. That's all. I don't say anything. I haven't said anything How for like five we rest? Uh, I think we should. Yeah. I think we're done here. I'm done here. I really need to... I hold up my hands and I'm like, I really need to get this checked out. Start yes. Uh, what is... Go what? red. What is that? Yeah, it's slightly inflamed, mm -hmm. like the cuts and things look a bit redder. I just hold up both my hands. I'm like, oh, where God. I touch the dead things. Okay, great. Um, Wear some gloves next time. Hmm. I've got silk ones, but don't use those. Just get your own. Okay. Sorry. That's fine. Daddy would hate me. Yeah. Goop or whatever yeah. this. Well, how so, much do you think Torval's going to charge us to fix that entire thing? Torval? Is that his name? Arval. No, Torval. He was a priest. Oh, um, he said 300. Oh, for Arval? Yeah, 300 to fix Arval. I don't know how much Arvel. for this. I don't know what this is. It's interesting. It's like my own little biology experiment. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I admire how calmly you're dealing with it. Mm -hmm. It's like a disgusting little terrarium. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a petri dish. <laughs> oh. Are we taking turns? Okay, I'll go first. Oh, great. <laughs> um, so, what, are you just lying down on the stone floor? I'm going to try and find nice. somewhere yep. comfy. My bedroll. Is there any cushions? <laughs> Any and it, anything it's not. that is not stone or metal has worn into nearly nothing. I'm going to take off my coat, roll it into a little pillow, mm -hmm. and curl up in a ball. Try not to cry. Cry a lot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, it is uncomfortable, unpleasant. Uh, Ayla is the only one with a bedroll. Um, Why am any... I the only one who's not just a bedroll in my None of them bought equipment for travelling. I didn't expect um, it. I don't think yeah. anybody so, like, knows how to Yeah. Survive. So who is taking watch? Not Are me. you even taking a watch? In the interest of recovering lost power, I would prefer not to take watch tonight. I well, I, I can only need four as hours. long as I if I can get some. You some, need four hours of like unawareness. Yeah. You still yeah. need to complete need, eight hours for a long okay. rest to take place. I'll I need it's just four that hours. other four hours later. you can be like awake. During. Okay. So you only need four hours of sleeping, and okay. then four hours you can be awake, but you can't. If you do anything strenuous, you wouldn't count as the medication. Uh, is keeping watch strenuous? No. Keeping watch is light activity. Okay. I'll probably wake up I after would... four hours and then... Because you're elf, you're elf. Uh, yeah. So you, you I need a same. full eight hours, otherwise this girl don't fly. You can... Uh, I'm sorry. Very true. <laughs> I need a full eight hours or this bird can't fly. Oh, you wait. can't fly no anyway. <laughs> can't fly anyway. <laughs> <laughs> really okay. funny, guys. What I do with powering down. <laughs> so I do first watch. <laughs> so Ada's going to take first watch. And then... I guess me and Sentry. What well, are you sleeping now? I'm going to power, yeah. And then we'll both wake up. And then you'll both take the second one. Just keep your arm okay. pointed out. Okay. Uh, uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Nightmare in your sleep. Ayla. Sets yes. it off. Can you make a perception check for me, please? I've been rolling like trash today. So this is great. 11. God damn it. Okay. So. You're not even sure what time it is. The darkness seems all-encompassing as you sit there, just the dim light of your dark vision, this kind of black and grey world is the only companion as the rest of them sleep or find themselves in some sort of low-powered state, unmoving. Just the gentle rising and falling of their breaths. You think for a moment 
that you can hear thunder far in the distance. That slow rumble, but without any lightning, just that dull cacophony of thunder. You feel it somewhere inside you resonating, but then it quickly passes. Sentry, while you are recharging or depowered, or whatever it is for you, there are glimpses, flashes, uh, the memory of the fight against the Feral Guardian, the first time that you've seen one of your kind since apparently all of the entire world had changed. There are flashes as you remember experiencing visions, uh, slight memories altered by time. There is a deep sense of something, almost a message. You see the collapsed body of the Feral Guardian, this furnace device, this creature that worked the smiths. And you almost, while you know it's dead, there's a vestige of something there, deep in its matrix. Long degraded, long since past the point of sanity, but there is one sentence that you hear as if you were stood next to it. Find the prime. And when you wake up, you can see that your hand, your finger is almost worn down, the metal in it, as you have scratched, find the prime yeah. into the stone ground. Oh. Lucius, you're the only one that sees this. As you come awaken, you see Sentry's hand furiously writing something, um, and then she seems to become aware of it herself. Uh, Ayla, and in fact, Ayla, you would see it as well, because obviously you were about to take watch. So the three of you notice that. Um, no other creatures appear to disturb your watch. Um, uh, Find what? the prime? What does that mean? I, I think Andrea, have you been asleep? I, I, it says fi find the prime. Oh, prime, yes, but, quite. What's... Um, Find the, what does that mean? I was having a vision and I don't, I don't know. I love that you're having this conversation. While you do it, I'm just going to pass that box. Um, okay. So Ayla just problem. finds a point. I am too tired. Flicks the bed roll out. Mmm, lovely and comfy blanket. Mmm, snuggles down. Yes, you have Continue. a great, great Continue. sleep there. <laughs> so you try and drift off as, uh, yeah. Find a century. Century, what, what on earth is that? What on? It always is that. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the fact that Rhiannon is actually scrawling it with like a really rough. <laughs> yeah. Find the is prime. Is it good font though? Is it like a so how no, the robot way the would do it? written is very erratic, as if she was unaware that she was writing it herself. You're aware that you were doing that whilst dreaming, right? I, no, I wasn't aware at all. Um, what were you? Do you remember anything? There's, there's, there's a message. I think we need to. Go back to the other guardian, like perhaps. I, I saw him in my vision. He he told me he told me to find the prime. It's alive. I said, Sorry, I'm starting to wake him up. So while you guys are having this, Nova, there is a strange dream, one that you've had sort of before. You are in a dark corridor with green lines all around it, around metal frameworks long, slender, dark corridor, at the very end of which there appears to be a light. Tian Gong, the sword, hovers in place in the middle of this greenish light that all the green lines seem to feed into. It's reminiscent of the shuttle where you first found him. As you approach, the lights begin to pulse and glow. The Tian Gong, you just feel this sense, another sentence, more words than it's spoken to you. Power. Give me power. And you sense the magical aura of the hammer that the party recovered. And this need for Tiangong to feed. And then that's it. Oh my. Uh, mm -hmm. If there's any more you wanted to talk about, otherwise you will wake up in about eight hours' time. Or oh, four hours' time. Mm. If there's anything more you guys wanted to say I'm before happy. the rest of the group wake. I'm happy to go back and, and look. But what do you think you'll find? The Prime? Maybe, maybe 
absolutely. A, maybe a, a clue. Maybe maybe I don't I don't know. I, I believe he's dead, but maybe he has a clue some somewhere. Do you know what the prime is? No idea. No, no idea. Hmm. What does prime mean? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's not a term. You sure it's not prime? It's it's. I'm sure it's not. Prime. There's no. There's no dash above the e there. No, no, it's it's definitely. Oh, it's, it's just a little bit of rock. Yeah, yes, it's a little bit. It's a little bit. Yeah, yes, you it's, scuffed it's not it a the bit. Neatest on the I mean, you did have your eyes closed. Yeah. I'll give you that. All right, we'll find the prime then. Until then, I'll make sure no more ghoulies come and attack us. <laughs> I'll take this watch, and you stand it. So, Sentry, you want to go out to the body of the guardian? Yeah. Okay. You make your way out. The rest of the others are all. Wait, where asleep. are you going? No, no. You have to use the you have to use echo to basically lead your way in yeah. the darkness. Um, but you eventually make your way to this large open space with a collapsed column that had eventually fallen on it, and you look down at the remnants of this creature, and you can see that the guardian, yeah, a large furnace was built into it. You can see the arm that has been removed where Nova took the the new weapon that you have. But it's just lifeless. There is no glow in its eye. Its singular eye doesn't glow. The, the remnant of its echo, this kind of sphere, this pure metal sphere just beside it, lifeless. Uh, can I maybe try and open it mm -hmm. up somehow? Yeah, give me an investigation check. Okay. Uh, mm. 20. 20. <laughs> so, you begin pulling apart, like opening up the Guardian itself, trying to access its matrix or something. You pull apart this thick, you have to, it probably takes you four hours. Like you don't get to complete a short rest, a long rest because of this. You like literally get the ax and you're wedging open parts of its metal body, pulling apart these plates, hacking at the wood that in, in, uh, encovers its entire matrix until eventually you get at this solid crystal core, this blackened, now blackened crystal. And you can see that the, the the crystal itself is cracked and dented. There is a horrid miasma inside it, almost like a series of veins or tree roots that kind of spread up through the crystal itself. You don't see any writing. You don't see any. It doesn't have any personal possessions. Okay. Just the crystal itself. Can I take the crystal out? Try so and prise it through. So when you reach in and your hand touches its matrix, which as far as you're concerned, is basically akin to your heart, your soul. As soon as it touches it, you do get another flash of another memory. Okay. This one of a, another guardian's face, it's in the chasm, the same chasm that you are in now, outside the blacksmiths. Uh, this guardian descended from the sky, and you this, whatever, this feral guardian that you are now seeing its memories of, looked up. At first it was wary, but then the Guardian spoke in a language you don't understand and repeated it and said, we'll find a way, we must find the Prime. And then that's the memory that you get, this other Guardian. And this other Guardian is resplendent. Its metal is not silver or steel, but gold. It has these luminescent glowing wings almost, but they're not the same shape as bird's wings. These almost seem to be blades of energy that sprout from its back. It has a large circular disc behind its head um, and it carries with it a long spear carved with a, a brilliantly shiny ethereum metal tip. Um, and when it lands, yeah, this, this feral guardian, this blacksmith guardian just seemed to see it as, as a sign. As a, it didn't see it as a threat. Um, it, it saw it as a savior. And it just had this thing of like, yeah, we must find the prime. Okay. So oh, cool, Mark. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so you, uh. so Lucius, Sentry That's doesn't crack, return. Face crack there. <laughs> uh, uh, over the four hours. Um, I'm going to start prodding everybody. Mm -hmm. Wake up. Wake. Uh, um, there's a problem. Okay, I'm going to look. Slight problem. What's the problem? Where, 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 Sentry? What's going on? Where, where, where is she? Okay? Yes, yeah, she's wandered off. Actually. Where? Uh, she, Why would you let her wander off? Well, she's a, a big. Big robot. I know she I, can take care of herself, but still, you could have walked with one of us. I Where did she go? Get up and run it. Where did she go? Look for <laughs> so Quillick runs off. She probably I'm went to the blacksmith guardian. <laughs> so Nova and Lucius are left. You instantly run out, and it's very obvious. Like you see her as literally, essentially, the last. Like as you pull your hand away, 
this kind of fresh memory in your mind. Quillick, you see Sentry in front of the, the, the Feral Guardian, having ripped parts of it away, and now Sentry just stands there. Uh, I'm almost going to like stand in front of her and push her backwards away from the Feral Guardian. And like, what? Well, yeah, I was going to say, say I try. If you don't want him to, you could... No, no, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. so Sentry just goes with it. She just kind of yeah. takes a few steps back. What's happening? What's going on? We must, we've got to find the Prime. We'll find a way. We'll find the Prime. Find we'll the find Prime? Way. What Prime? We'll find the Prime. What way? We've got to find the Prime. Sentry. What's the Prime? I don't... I don't know. We've, we've got to find the Prime. I don't know. Is this the Prime? No. No, the, the Prime... I don't, I don't know. It came down. It was, it was golden. It was... Uh, I, I, I don't know. We've got to find it. I don't... Un okay, hang on. Where did you hear about this thing? It was... I, it, was it was in, it was in a vision I, when I was powering down and the... the, the this, this guardian here is... Oh my god, he's such a mess! Uh, this <laughs> guardian here... Um, he... He told me to find the prime, and then I went to Hang find. On. I went to see this feral guardian. Sentry, this guardian isn't sane. Oh. No, but he. I went. I, he was. He sent me a message, and I went to see if he maybe had a clue to the prime. And Wait, it's still alive. No, no, it's it's definitely. It's. I think it's definitely dead. I think. Oh, well, I but know. its core is its soul. So I what. So I went to its core to maybe see if it had any more information about the prime and it showed me a vision of this this golden like this golden guardian it was huge and it came down from the sky and it said we will find a way we'll find the prime it came down from the crazy. sky it came from the sky we got a, we got it a flew it, it could fly it was flying it was golden it was like it was like a god like what you would call a god Hmm. Is this what happens when guardians get a little bit older and they start to... Is, she, is it happening? Is it happening? I really don't want to think about it like that, but... Sentry, I think it's safer if you try your best to put it from your mind. But... But I saw, I saw it, it was... It was there and like... It, Can I wander across? Yeah, so yeah, and like Nova, I'm guessing you I'm, two... I'm probably trailing out, because yeah. I've probably heard the word prime and started so thinking about prime numbers. Everybody except Sentry <laughs> completed a long so rest. Them. You guys can all mark a long rest. Sentry, yeah. sadly, you did not finish the last four hours. Um, so you all get the, the benefits of a long rest. And we don't re do reset maximum HP. Yeah, 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 yeah. reset maximum HP. <laughs> your one HP. <laughs> He's been on one HP for the whole, like... Is that why oh, he was doing wow. that? I'm so tired. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly why I was yeah. doing it. Um, so, uh, yeah, you, you make your way over and you can see Sentry, no emotion on the face, but her voice clearly upset, concerned, um, uncertainty, which you've not really seen from Sentry yet, this, this panic. Uh, Quill and Ayla trying to calm her down, but yeah, you just hear this this need to find the prime. Quill. It's all the god. I'm surprised in you. Listen to her voice. She's upset, and you're telling her to not believe it? Oh no, I'm not saying don't believe it. I'm just wary of, you know, if, the, if this guardian has attacked us, for starters, it's clearly not, well, of the right mind. If this thing is telling her things, I'm just worried about what it but is telling it's her. it's a memory. It's what he saw. Sentry, how do we know that? Did you see it in your That's dream, how or did you work. do something else? I, I saw. I, I, I Where saw. Did you see this golden guardian? I saw the golden guardian through, through, through this one's memory. I will make one just soul. one thing clear for everybody, even with your expertise in science. Guardian stuff, nobody knows how it works. Yeah. Just as a, to clarify as a point of the world, mm -hmm. that's the whole point: is that nobody understands how guardians work. It could be that that's how Matrix is, can pass on this kind of information. It could be that this is a sign of de degradation, like literally like as if somebody's hallucinating. But just to make it clear, yeah. only Sentry has an idea of even vaguely how they work. So I don't want people to, to think that that's certainly... You got it from that thing that you ripped open. I got it open. from him. So his, his core is like his soul, like, like mine is my soul. Like when I touched its echo and I saw a flash of... Yeah. I could touch it's the connected, Matrix. It's connected to our cause, so like you would say, your soul, that's what makes us. Do you want me to touch it? No, 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 do, no. No? No. No touchy? No, 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 no. But he saw something yeah. last time. That's true. I'm just worried it might be dangerous. Wait, do you want but, me to touch wait. it? I don't mind. Did it hurt? I'll do it. it. It doesn't hurt, but I'm just worried that I'm not, this, this one isn't like me, you know, it's, it's, but it's I'm certain of myself, but I'm it. not certain of this one. I see. So but, how can you, you be certain? Sayla touches it. 
Um, nothing happens. It just feels like cold. They'd be cold like, no, whisper. no. <laughs> so you, like, but she touches it, yeah. and there just yeah. doesn't seem to be any reaction. Okay. Let's just hold right. on. Let's think about this There's for nothing. a second. Lucius, you mm. touched Echo, and what did you see? I saw its last memories of it, the, the whole cavern caving in and fire and brimstone and black. You remember, Nova, you tried, but yeah. you didn't get anything. No, sorry, I said Echo. You touched the other one, yeah. didn't you? They're, yeah, well, yeah. They, they, yeah. both yeah. of them are called yeah. Echo. Okay, can I touch Echo? <laughs> yeah, you touch Echo, just ding, 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 ding. Feels like metal. No so response. So if we use that as a line of thought, then Sentry touching this matrix from this, this feral guardian, you can only assume that you also saw its memories. I believe that's what happened, yeah. And there wasn't any fire, and there wasn't the blacksmiths? No, no, it was the, it was the blacks, it was from, like, through his eyes, so I was seeing what he, what he was seeing, and he saw this golden, golden guardian. Lucius, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. I, I'm worried the sentry's very concerned about um, me getting hurt, and I really I don't it, want like... to get hurt. I know, but you, you're not in tune with the magical side of things, yeah. like I am. Um, so, I mean, I will, but uh, I, I need permission from Sentry. Okay, um, well... Uh, it might help if somebody else can see. Maybe at the worse. moment, I mean... God, I'm, I'm, so I'm kind of concerned that people are making judgments on you, Sentry, and I, this could help alleviate yeah. that. Yeah, okay, somewhat. well, you can... Okay, well, I'm, I'm sorry if something happens to well, you. Well, you'll get me up, won't you? <laughs> Here we go! I got any... <laughs> Make a charisma saving throw for me, please, Lucius. Okay. 17 plus 3, 20. Okay. When you touch it, this is not the same as when you touched Echo. Directly touching this crystal, you immediately feel this overwhelming sensation, mad, like mad thoughts, just garbled information, words that don't mean anything begin to spring to mind. You probably catch the word prime but then you're, you immediately know to let go before your mind is just overwhelmed by whatever, whatever has happened to this crystal, what has ever happened to this matrix that Sentry calls it. I mean, this thing was beyond saving. This thing was mad. Um, and that madness threatened to overwhelm you, but you managed to kind of pull your hand away before it dealt any damage to your psyche. But you definitely heard the word prime in amongst all this garbled, like, speech. <gasps> oh, are you okay? Oh, just need a moment. Deep breaths. Did it hurt? Oh. Did it hurt you? I mean, it's, I don't know how you tolerate it. It's just that's it's overwhelming. That was everything all at once, the cacophony of madness. And did you see this golden guardian? No, no, but I heard the word prime. prime. I definitely heard the word prime. But that's it was good. definitely, absolutely, 100% insane. So okay. that didn't overwhelm you, did it? Uh. You didn't get this. No, All this I at just, once. I just got what he saw. I just got his vision, what he saw. You're definitely not. No. no absolutely. I'm, well, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure I am. I'm sure right. I'm sound of mind. Wait, when this guardian called out to you, what voice did you hear it in? Was it different to when we heard it yelling at us before? Um, it was. No, I believe it was the same. The same voice. It was his voice. Okay. But was it calm? Was it serene? Was it? light begins to just drift down from the top of the chasm, having moved back to the blacksmiths. There is light coming down from above, like an early morning sun, perhaps, beginning to filter down. Since we're not going to get any more information from him, shall we go? The reality we can is go back. we're not going to find anything else down here. Sentry, we can discuss it over some warm plates. How, how does that sound? That sounds really good. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one plate's all right. Yeah. <laughs> As a curiosity, can you write? Uh, yeah, yes, I can, yeah. Did you not see the stonework? I suggest, I, I hand out my notebook, write down exactly what you saw here. Then we have a, a log of it, and if it happens again, we can compare, we can add. That's a good way to get things out as well. It might help clear your mind and go over what you saw. That's a good idea, yeah. I'll do, I'll do that. I'll take it and I'll start. Right, right down. down. Okay. What's the rest of you doing? Well, well, we have two climbers kits and I can levitate. That sounds like you're heading up there with the rope. But what do we suggest? Because last time I did this, as I pointed out, not very strong, didn't really do a great job of doing the can thing into the rope. Can you someone else levitate? Mm, no. Yes, you can. Yes. 
Yep. Do you want me to do it? Levitate, you can actually it's just point at somebody. It's a racial thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's the spell though. You can just okay. cast a spell and as part of the spell you can levitate an object or a person. It's a really useful spell. Okay. I could make Ayla levitate. Or Sentry. Sentry's strong too. Mm-hmm. Sentry's distracted. I, I so I should probably for you, Quill, do it. But we need someone strong. I would prefer not go into the air until I'm absolutely ready to, thank you very much. Okay. Okay. So you're going to cast Levitate on Ayla. Levitate Ayla up mm -hmm. to the top, just uh, to get it right. And I'll give her one of the climber packs climber as well. Okay. Can you make an athletics check for me, Ayla? Don't forget to pick up the rope that's on the floor. And take Maybe it with you. Maybe in the climber's kit. Yeah. Climber's kit, pitons, I've been rolling really rope. badly today, so this is... Ooh. Uh. 15. 15. Okay, so Ayla goes up, she hammers pitons into the cliff edge, into the chasm wall. Why goes all the way guidance? up the top. Ties it all off. Just nodding. And, and then <laughs> the rope, you descend the rope down. just thinking about flying. Yeah. Ready for anybody to basically climb up. Um, you are now at the top. It is morning. There is a slight chill in the air, uh, as it is the beginning of, lo of the long night, the wintry period for Erois. Hmm. And uh, yeah, who wants to make the first check to climb up the rope? Well, well, birdie boy. Mm -hmm. This is your moment. This is my moment? Well, yes. Me first? Well, I'm being generous, really, because you went on the rope when it, everybody else had already been on it. Oh, good point. I really wouldn't like to fall again. Mm. Uh, Ayla? Yeah? Did you...? Plus, I'm making sure that the actual thing more? is stable. It's so good. if it falls, you can redo it. Okay. Um, well, in that case, and I'll grab one arm on the rope, two talons into the rock, and I just... Yeah, this is hard going. It's disadvantage. Athletics with disadvantage for you. Okay. I mean, couldn't we someone help him? <laughs> oh, no! The first one I rolled was a natural one. It's almost like you should tell me you want to use your inspiration. <laughs> or like... No, oh. would have helped <laughs> so, he Quill out. begins to haul himself up, but, I mean, you scramble down. You don't take any damage. You just can't find the purchase to get up this rope on your own. Um, it's going to be really tough for you to do it. Sentry, maybe you could go underneath him and scooch him up. <laughs> you can try that. Yeah, you want. yeah. Would you like to sit on my shoulders, Quill? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, athletics check. Uh -huh. I will give you a penalty for carrying quite heavy weight, but it won't be disadvantage. I'll be helping. Could I? In well, a you, way... So you make another athletics check with disadvantage. You're yeah, in a way like. like... You want to oh. try and pull them up? I'm you're, still loving. You're still loving. I think it only lasts a minute. <laughs> check the spell description. If it lasts an hour, then yes, you can. Uh, I got eight. I need to actually look up levitate. So. Yeah, Is you that should that just be able to click on it. Is that no, it just brought up no with the, the wind it's minus one for disadvantage. No, you roll again, take the lot. Roll again. Oh no, you don't have disadvantage. Oh, oh okay. What was your total? Uh, there was eighteen. The first one. Six. Okay. <laughs> <One>. <laughs> ten minutes. Okay, so ten minutes. Okay, you have enough time to go and get. Like you can go down can and I help go Quill. Go and help Quill. Yeah, sure. I'll help um, Quill. Okay, so with that, uh, just give me an athletics check, just, just, just to see. Sixteen. Okay, so Quill is the only one you'll be able to help because sure. by the time you've gone up, secured the rope, gone down, got Quill taken him back up, that's the spell's okay. going to have gone by that point. So Ayla levitates down, basically grabs onto Quill to make sure he doesn't fall off, and then helps <laughs> take most of his weight. Come on, Brandon. He up we pulls, go. Up pulls himself we go. up. Century, work with me. you just climb up the rope on your own, no problem, you manage to assail it. It's tiring work, anybody who climbs, you have a level of exhaustion by the time you reach the top, so you're going up uh, a 250 foot climb. There are points where you can stop, but it's hard going. Is there a way that I can sort of pull on the rope as one of them is climbing? The problem is because it's such a long thing, it's like 250 feet, they're having to use the pitons to tie the rope off to make sure that they can climb up it properly. Okay, can I just keep checking the pitons then and make mm -hmm. sure that... Mate, they're not sure that... They've, you seem to have secured them, secure, they're not going to come loose okay. this time. You've actually secured them in fully. Um, so it's just Nova and uh, Lucius that are left. Oh, well, 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 Nova. Mm. Do, you, do you mind if I go? I suppose. I'm not very strong. That's fine. If I'll I just... fall, can you catch me? Um, I'll give it Thank a... you, bye. No, good. Okay. <laughs> Off you go. So athletics check, please. With that minus two strength. Oh, oh. If only someone could guide me. Two hundred. He's, he's up. He's gone. Oh, they gone up. Natural oh. one. <laughs> I'll catch you. I don't even make it up the rope, do I? No, so you do, because otherwise you're just going to be stuck down in this chasm forever, and that's not very fun. Uh, however, uh, climbing up is exhausting for you. You constantly have to stop. 
Um, there is probably a moment where you almost lose your grip. Uh, let me have a look at your character sheet. Would you like to just see it here? Yeah, if you just want to pass it over to me now, rather than me going into D&D &D Beyond. Do, 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 what's in your inventory? Oh no. Lots of stuff. Lots Two of stuff. Oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah. yeah loads of this stuff's oh. going. I mean, just a heavy Ethereum yeah. core. Yeah. You leave that thing alone. It's meant to be really heavy. I'm not sure how we still got that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, as you're climbing up, you're basically going to drop a bag of stuff, like a ton of like things. Like you, know, you've got a pound of iron ore, inkwell, mm -hmm. quills. Hey, I'm not uh, leaving my quills. Lanterns. Yep. All of this stuff is going to go. Uh, your I won't. Fine. Most of your rations will fall out. I won't take anything which has like considerable value, like the Ethereum dagger or the uh, the thing. Yeah. Basically, all of it, is this all falling onto me? <laughs> it's, it's spilling out and like things like the ink well like falls out and smashes all over the ground. Oh my god, can it hit him in the face? <gasps> it just splashes on the thing, it doesn't hit him in the face. He you got the natural one. 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 <laughs> yeah, he did roll the natural one. Um, <laughs> splashes on your quick. And I'd probably say that you've probably got like two levels of exhaustion rather than Sweet. one. But I'll go through your gear and lose a bunch of exhaustion and conditions. Mm -hmm. Tap it and then scroll the um, and, it's got and yeah, so Nova does make her way up, but takes considerable oh, time. Oh, I've, I've made a decision. Quick. We're gonna start training because this this is just um, like, you, need to, you need some strength. Uh, this is just it can't happen. Just like words don't even happen. <laughs> I know you're not Everybody listening. Everybody up there, I've got a brilliant idea. It's really it's hard to hear. It's so can you hear me? <laughs> Oh, up there? It's so much nicer when you can barely hear him. I've got an idea. So all of you grab the rope and I'll tie it around my waist and you could just pull me up. No! <laughs> also, the, the rope is pitoned into the wall. You would have to be pulling the pitons out. Oh. They can't just pull you up. Nope. Never mind. Yeah, Did anyone good. leave a climber's kit for me? Nope. Excellent. Athletics Wait. check, please. Would I have? No, because I did. I have to use one. With <laughs> Five. Yeah, you. No, I gave going you up. one to climb up. You gave me I one. Have okay. the other ones. Same so thing happens to one. you. In that the climb <gasps> is exhausting. Things kind of tumbling out your bag. They smash all over the ground. Um, again, Not Danny's briefcase. No, you can keep Danny's briefcase, but I'll probably go through <laughs> your gear and you'll probably lose a bunch of stuff. Maybe some gold. Probably for you, it'd be more like coins spilling out. Okay. Oh, no. So you're gonna lose some gold. Send and them yeah, back down there. Another level, another level of exhaustion. I'm probably just stuff. throwing the banks off to like yeah. lighten the load. Because <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. money is so <laughs> heavy. Yeah. I think that, that that makes sense. Like yeah, it's you're such a good idea. Wait, I would have needed the climber's kit though. So could I have thrown that? You did need the climber's kit. Oh, I did. Because you need needed that. to put the pit on. So oh right. So that that I had the second one. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. 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 Yeah. So it might have fallen out and hit him in the face, but... Uh, so yeah, so with that, you all managed to make your way to the very top of the castle, exhausted, tired, um, and still with a day's travel back to Rosehall, but <laughs> you have managed to make your way up to the top. And with that, we're going to take a break. Nice. Okay. Timing. We will Enjoy see you. We made it see you in five awesome. minutes. <laughs> Goodbye. Hello. Welcome back to High Rollers. Thanks to Sam and TJ for running the stream today. Much appreciated. Uh, welcome back. The gang, the team, have just climbed their way out of the chasm. Good several team. of their members have lost several items. Uh, gold coins that went spilling into the cracks of the chasm. Uh, various pieces of equipment that fell off their packs. A as shovel. They were climbing up, um, among other things, uh, as the party made their way up. It is a crisp, cold morning that you arrive into. The rolling hills of Suvona and the land south of Rose Hall stretch out before you and you know that the town itself is about still about a day's travel to the north. It takes about a day to get to and from the chasm, um, of which you can easily complete probably, you could probably get to the Rose Hall just before nightfall if you walk all day. Or some nice warm plates. Nice warm plates. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Our speed is halved. No, Nova. Mm -hmm. So you two, it will take even longer with those well, two traveling. Well, someone carries me. Uh, no. 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 Then, it would, then our speed would be half, so it would be counterproductive. Yeah. Wait, why is their speed halved? <laughs> well, they're exhausted. exhausted. Uh, Natural uh, one. Yeah, okay. Uh, Nova, how, how often can you do that levitation thing? Once every time I take a long rest. So once a, once a day? Once a day. Yeah. Okay. 
Why? Just wondering. Want to have a try? No, not today. Uh, it was just Ayla, Ayla carrying me. It was just, it was good. It was nice. You should do it. I want to. I, I could, hmm. I could make a counterbalance. A what? So your wing, right? Yeah. It's out of action. So if you were to fly. It's more gone. Hmm? What? It's more gone. There's... But that's the thing. That makes it easier. I could make a counterbalance. To count, sorry, what? So if you fly with like levitate or if, I don't know, Ayla throws you in the air or something like that. Okay. You need something to counter your other wing. Otherwise, you're just going to list to one side. Are you not used to it by now, though? Used to? Oh, no, I've got, I've got balance. Yeah, I mean. He's all right. I didn't if topple I push to him, the side. Fall over, but well, you need he's, to be able to flap. Okay, he can walk straight. You need to flap. I'm just saying, I could maybe fashion but. something that could maybe help you fly. I, but I won't be able to fly with one wing. That's like. what no, saying. that's what I'm saying. So you're, you're going to make a weight. Or a second wing. A second wing? Mm hmm. Out of what? Out of what leaves? I'll have to investigate it. I'll have to do some research and thinking about it. But I made th like paper planes and paper planes? Paper birds and models and stuff like that before. Like, it's just the same principle, but bigger. So a big paper. I'd make it maybe out of leather. Mm. Maybe some actual feathers, and I don't know, I'll have to think about it. But I'm not saying I can do it overnight, or right now, in the middle of nowhere. But oh. if I do some research, and I take some measurements, maybe run some experiments, I think I could fashion you something. I mean, may maybe, but let's not run with the idea just yet. I mean, I still need to figure out why first, before I then jump into what I was. What do you mean, why? Oh, well, I mean, w when it happened, I feel like it must have happened for a reason. I could have died. Why? I don't know why I didn't. How did it happen? Well, is everyone sitting comfortably? No. I'm walking very I'm slowly. Walking I'm very so slow. tired. Is everyone walking comfortably? No, I'm exhausted. So I am from a guild of messengers. You've probably heard of them. They fly all around the place, everywhere in a row. It says. Aracocra doing various different delivery jobs across the entire Very world. Very efficient too. Very efficient. And I was probably among the most efficient. Um, one of the best flyers, actually. Uh, one of the elites, I suppose, as we call them. And I listened to him or tooting his own beak and whatnot. Sorry. I was very good. Oh, was. Good, you should be proud of your achievements. I'm very, I was very proud. It's, it's, I don't like Until talking about, about it too much. Until when you made fun of him. Yeah, that wasn't very... I was proud of him. It's just nice to hear Quill being perky for once. I mean, it's hard to be perky about something that I'm not anymore. I mean, I... So as one of those flyers that could do all of these amazing things, I was sent on a mission, so to speak, that separates the not-so-good flyers from the really, really good flyers. And that mission was to fly across a valley of storms. Um, I mean, I, does anyone know a valley of storms? I know about the valley of storms. <laughs> <laughs> Put your risk to your down. I get the gist. You can make a history check. Can I make it? Nope. Anyone can. Huh? Open I'll invitation. Take one. Open invitation. Thirteen. She knows. I wouldn't know. I, think I know nothing. Where's my dad? Because it sounds. Yeah. Sounds like a place to be for you. I was sleeping. Nope. 13. 13. You've probably vaguely heard of it. It's um, it's on a continent called Voxar. And it is a mystical storm that never dissipates. It basically remains in place. There are lots of rumours about what causes it. A lot of them are tied to the god Hesper. Some of them believe it might be an ancient blue dragon that came down with the dragonborn from, um, from the dark beyond. Nobody's really sure. Hmm. But it's used, but yeah, that's as far as you would know about it. Like, it's a place, um, lots of lots of rumour and mystery surrounding it. There's supposedly a temple hidden in the mountain, like, at the very end of the mountain. You know, if you can get through the valley, you can reach this temple, but nobody knows if it's true or not. So, Except the, the Arakoka, who are generally always quite quiet about it. So the idea is that we fly in, we fly out. It's, it's, that's it. Ordinarily, the storms never hit us because we take a million precautions to stop that from happening for some reason, uh, and I still don't know why. I got hit by the lightning, um, and that's when I fell to the lowlands, and for all intents and purposes, I should have died. 
but I didn't. I woke up in the lowlands after seeing, well, Hesper. I'm pretty sure it was him anyway, but that brought me back into the lowlands with one wing. And that's how I lost it. it, it it's, it's gone. And then shortly after that is when I found Sentry. Yeah. And then I suppose that catches everyone up as where I've been. By the way, my name's Kilek Adkalar. I don't think anyone really asked. <laughs> you told us that several days ago. Yeah, you told when us when that I quite asked you. Though, actually. Yeah. Okay. I'm going in for a very awkward. Oh, you poor buddy. Please. It's awful. It's not okay. Okay. <laughs> right. Question. Thank you. It smells. For Lucius, despite where you've been, there is a, a hint of floral cologne, I imagine. Frost. Frost air. Frost is very nice, Lucian. Yeah, okay. Spend good money on that. Is that why you get headaches all the time? Headaches? No, I don't get headaches unless you talk Would you to you crouch me. down and you were clasping your... Oh, no, that was me channeling the energy that I gained from after I fell. I, that's when I discovered these new things that I could do. Oh. The ability to heal, the ability to see magical objects, all these different things. I don't know how I got them, but I had them after I fell. That's it, that's all I know about you it. You lost a wing, but you gained magical abilities. I suppose, I mean, I wouldn't call it a decent trade-off, but... But if you got your wing back? Do you want your wing back? Hmm, good question. Not yet, no. Fair. I... But would you like me to do some research? Because it's gonna take time. I mean, maybe, but I don't want the research to go to waste. I might just to say, decide. Oh, please, it's fun for her. She wants to do it. She's got it. If you would like to try, then by all means, but don't be insulted if I turn it down. Don't be insulted if I create a disaster. Okay, um, I would be insulted <laughs> if you destroyed any more of me than Oh, I wouldn't is. do that. <laughs> Maybe, probably, okay. probably not. But I mean, I don't think it would spontaneously combust, unless, hmm. Why would it spontaneously combust? You said leather. We could make him a weapon. Hmm. We're weapon enough as it is mm -hmm. with Sentry. <laughs> <laughs> that question. Be fair. Awkward question. Lightning. Right. Yeah. Yeah, um... Oh no, I know about you. I stay as far away as I can, really. Sorry. You scare me enough. That, um, I don't really know a whole bunch about that, but... Didn't realize that lightning was a big sort of. Uh, Wait, what do you mean you don't know enough about? I don't. I mean, it's a, it, it happens. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why it happens, but it happens. But uh, I'm working on it. Okay, I'm working on trying to figure that out. But to whose betterment? To ours? N mine. Okay. Mostly, like. When did that start? Um. Uh, Relatively recently-ish, kind of. That's why I started to... That's why I left hmm. and started looking for things. So are you, are you looking for a clan that has power over lightning? Yeah, basically. Hmm. The clan I left wasn't my real clan. Hmm. I don't wait. know who they are. So wait, who are the clan that you left? What they, do they do? Do all the wild elves have different abilities or...? No, they don't have... No. Some of them are spellcasters and things like that, but no, nobody has any of the lightning strangeness that I do. It's kind of what made me realize that I wasn't really from there. Um, okay. They took me in. I was abandoned and they took me in, raised me like I belonged there. And then when this started, they sort of, well, they gave me this tartan that belongs to my real clan. I just don't know who that is. And nobody's heard of them. It's a mystery. I don't even know if they exist anymore. I might be the only one that has any of this kind of weird... I don't know what it is. Ability. Sure. Power. It's probably more like a curse right now. Or a gift. We'll see, but... So that's two of us who don't really know the origin of our powers. Anyone else experiencing weird things? I was but a wee boy, just <laughs> a glisten in my parents' eye at the time. Anyone else? 
right? <laughs> and carry on. No, this is a very long story. I'm thinking of getting it published anyway. I don't want to give you all oh, you the, know, juicy the juicy detail. I'm sure detail. it would be a great read. Uh, well, if at any point you guys can have a conversation on the road, it will basically, in what would have taken you a day to reach Rose Hall, you get about half the journey because Lucius and Nova are obviously still exhausted. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to make a camp outside, uh, nestled into the hills, but not too far away from Rose Hall. You're not sure if there will be any beasts or patrols or anything like that, but uh, you're nestled into a small valleyway when you take another long rest. Um, is anybody taking watch? And also, no, I'm guessing you want to examine that disc, yes? Yes, please. Okay, so during the long rest, excuse me. Take a look at that street bottle. You, uh, <laughs> you spend some time examining the disc and you ascertain its purpose. It doesn't require necessarily like identif identification magic, nor do you need to attune to it. It is quite a simple process. Uh, it can store an image of a creature, of a, of a medium-sized creature, or a object that is no larger than five foot in a cubic diameter. And then as you can basically activate the disc to project an illusory image of that personal object. That will last for a minute and then it needs to, it takes a short rest to recharge basically. So it can be used like every short rest. Um, it is called a glamour disc. It, mm, okay. It's an old uh, pre-sundering technology that they're not especially rare. They can be found. Collectors collect them. They're quite useful. Um, they tend to be picked up by unsavory elements that want to use them or people that want to have uh, something unique to display. Um, yeah. Like trading cards? Not really because it, it creates, it's more like a Think of it as like a very small hologram projector. Like yeah. you can scan something and then go display the thing. Can you do like an incomplete? So if I was to like, I don't know, take an image of Ayla who's over five foot. But well, it's, like it's a five foot object, a me any medium creature, like any creature who's within five feet, like okay. a, yeah. a medium sized creature. So any of you, basically any, anything that's not a large creature, you can but take you, a scan of. But could you take a piece of that large creature? No, it, okay. basically it will only work if it scans the whole object or the whole creature. Okay. But you could do it to create, like, if you wanted to scan a, a chair, you could then put the, the disc on the floor, activate it, and it would project mm. an illusory chair. The same it's not as... infallible, it's the same as the minor image illusion, mm. so people can determine that it's not real. Um, but it's basically a way of, like, storing a minor illusion. But you don't need to be a spellcaster to use these. Anybody yeah. can use them. It's an action to scan something, and then an action to activate the illusion. Mm. It lasts one minute. You can also, if you scan a person, it can record up to a minute of action. So you can actually record them like miming, talking. It doesn't produce sound and it doesn't produce any other sensory effects. It's okay. basically the same as the silent image spell. Okay. Cool. I'll do first watch. Okay. I'll do a watch. Okay, so you take first watch, you take second watch. Uh, Lucian. 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 <laughs> Lucian. <laughs> Lucian, give me a perception check. Eh. Uh, 19. 19. Okay. I was about to uh, bang Ayla, you for some on watch. 13. 13. Um, Lucius, first part of the evening as everyone rests. The hills are quiet, the night air is cold. Uh, you have to wrap yourself up in a cloak to keep the chill from getting through to your bones. Around the second hour of your watch is when you begin to hear the noises. It's a strange noise, you, one you've never heard before. A kind of distorted moan, and almost like the jangling of chains or bells. It's growing closer, just nestled over the over the hills. Up time, everybody! Up time! <laughs> up, up, buddy, up! Right. So you hear this kind of like up, 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 no, up noise. All right, what is it this time? You hear... I just take a long time to just light like, up. Just like... <laughs> and you hear another sort of uh, a shuffling of bodies, like large creatures moving. You hear that? Um, Ayla and Quill, give me nature checks. Nature checks? <laughs> Not perception? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> 15. Uh, 13. <laughs> so, Ayla, so Lucius, what did you, you know, you've woken everybody up. We're about to be attacked. About, by what? By a zombie with chains on its head. A zombie with chains on its head? And then you hear this noise that Lucian heard during his Lucius. watch. Lucius. Gling, 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 gling. You hear it? It's going to kill us. I'm going to kill you. 
Don't you do that. Kill that whoa. first. <laughs> it does what, sound cow? really aggressive. Wait, no, what? Not a cow, is it? Lucius. What's the cow? <laughs> Lucius. Yeah, you've never seen a cow before. I mean, <laughs> cows are fairly aggressive. Well, then it's a ding, 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 ding. Let's assume our fighting stance is to destroy it before it gets to jump on us. I know it's probably mindless. <laughs> I'm going back to sleep. You are an idiot. You can take it on your own. Yep. Good night. Go milk it. <laughs> I could do it. I like milk. your optimism in my abilities in combat. Attack. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Good luck. You, you, for all of you. <laughs> you can do it, Lucius. Thank you. Bardic inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a renewed vigor. I'm still exhausted. I'm going to go out. You sneak up. You can try and sneak up. I'm going to sneak. I'm going to try and self check. Is he actually killing the cow? Hang on. Here's your bardic inspiration. He doesn't dice. know what it is. 18. <laughs> oh, 18. You stealth up this grassy hill, laying oh, yourself gosh, flat and peer this. over. Make your daddy You proud. see three of these creatures. <laughs> <laughs> they are as long as a horse, but shorter and stouter, covered in a strange black and white pattern. Oh, I see. With horns. <laughs> Uh, they wear bells around their necks, strange bells around their necks. As they, they munch on the grass, uh, two of them appear to be laying down now. Is this really <laughs> As Kim, I'm saying this. I, I am listening to Mark, amazing DM, who has DM'd us for two years, describe a cow. <laughs> <laughs> to Lucius. Lucius doesn't know what a cow is. He lives up in the sky cities. They don't have cows. Uh, He's never been to the lowlands before. I can't Carry wait on. until they down him. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> they probably will. One shot. The one that's still standing. <laughs> le 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 <laughs> looms down to the grass. Bites into some grass. Starts chewing on grass. <laughs> Satanic creature. I'm gonna fling an ice knife at it. Oh, oh god! Oh, We're gonna get attacked by farmers. Okay, range attack roll. <laughs> uh, 9 plus 5, 14. I believe that will hit a cow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, have any I don't think I have a stat for a like cow. Like 2 HP. Like very low. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll make something up. 2 HP, right? 3. Oh, no, a cow would have more than 2 yeah. HP. A cow's a big tough thing. 3 on that cow and then it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually... Okay, we're actually running a combat for the Should you technically the cows. Then do eight. Uh, He would have had advantage. She would have had you, you hit anyway, actually, when we're talking yeah, about Yeah, yeah. Um, so, three on the first cow, then eight damage to all of them. Check that you don't get a natural 20. Uh, but yeah. to hit the well, actually, well, a goat. Okay, we're going to use a goat yeah. stats, but we'll, we'll add a few more bits. Goat doubled. Yeah, goat. Would, yeah, can you do a deck saving throw for the cow? Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Deck saving throw. We'll give this it a minus one. Oh, eight. Fails. Uh, it hits all of them, though, right? Yeah, so that's uh, eight cold for them all and three for the main one. One of the cows rolls out the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. How much right. piercing damage to the first one? Does oh, everyone just leave piercing damage to the first one? It gets hit, you hear this <laughs> as the blade pierces into the cow's hide, then it explodes for the cold damage. Uh, eight. Oh, the, fir the first cow is dead. It's just covered oh, in ice. Save. <laughs> Falls to the ground, ice. The other two are still alive. Uh, I'm handling this situation. Do this to for me? Okay. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 16. You go again. What do you like? You, these two other creatures still staying. One of them's trying to get to its feet. The other one is, is bleeding heavily. Take the flames of the elves! <laughs> I'm doing fireball. Uh, yep. Oh my God. Heavily injured or lesser injured one? Uh, We're going to get heavily so injured much trouble yep. with farmers. Uh, <laughs> 14 again. Hits. Might have just got, gotten some breakfast. 1d10 <laughs> fire damage. True. That's a ten. Oh God. Incinerates the cow. It's, it's kind of <laughs> ever so slightly it burned already. body. Just goes up in flames. It got good it death. Like, and then it just collapses. It takes a few few footsteps. <laughs> <full step. laughs> the other one flees in terror. Uh, it, it goes. It, it just bolts. It just charges, <laughs> runs away from you um, towards a, a distant looking field. I like the music. Good choice, Sam. Just please, just please, an abject terror. Do you go I for it? I brush down my clothing. 
and click my fingers and stride back in. <laughs> You're not going to loot the corpses? I'm not going to go near them. Okay. He's zombies. terrified. I did it. Lucius returns. I did it. They're all dead. Are, you, are they all asleep? No, you um, you I think it'd be kind of hard to sleep through. Whoosh! <laughs> <laughs> like one of my eyes just like lights up, and I just look at you like, what? Okay. You <laughs> did I you know enjoy yourself? I know. I was terrified, but I did it, and they didn't attack us. Yes, because they're cows. They yeah. were cows. Oh yeah. Yes, awful creatures. Yeah, they're cows. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. I am so done. <laughs> You're welcome. This is yeah, the dumbest were, um... thing. True hero. True hero. But I couldn't have done it without your moral mm. inspiration, so thank I you. I think for that. Nova's just so lost for words. Like, she just, yeah. for once, she actually has nothing to say. Thank How you. have you never to... seen a cow before? I'm glad I haven't. Evil what, creatures. What were, what were they doing when you they saw them? They were stalking us. They're about to attack. Stalking us? You their chains. Lucius? Yes? Do you drink milk? Uh, yes, obviously. Have you worn or used leather items? No, it's quite tight, isn't it? But have you I've ever... I've seen it, yes. But have you ever eaten, say, steak? I've had uh, beef brisket, yes. Where do you think those things come from? From, um... From tradesmen and whatnot, yeah. from, from some sort of animal, I assume. What yes. kind of an animal do you think? Uh, I mean, would, Lucius would never have asked, right? He would have just, yeah. like, that's food. Yes, I mean, it's a fine delicacy, I'm sure. I don't know, they come from lowland creatures, and then they get transported upwards. Where are we right now? In the lowlands. What did you just kill? A cow. Three cows. Two cows, one ran away. Should I go finish one that one? One ran away? Yes. <laughs> Where are we right now, out of interest? Like, like little valley, yes. like a little, you know, kind of little copse of trees nearby. Look, I'm not stupid. Open grass. No. Oh, I no. really beg to differ. No, you're not. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Quill. You know what we were saying in Rose Hall about not giving people an opportunity to, you know, hate us or anything? Hmm. Mm. I feel like Yes, this, I remember that. I, yeah, I feel like this, yesterday. this isn't particularly helpful. What do you mean? Uh, do people like you know, zombies? I've, you know the tradesmen that you were talking about just then that get you the beef and the leather and the milk? Yes. Mm. They probably trade with farmers, which are the kind of people that were in Rose Hall. Yes, you know, that yes. farm? Right. They own the cows. Why are they own those? On because the dead cows creatures. get turned into beef and milk. We eat zombie milk. meat? Ghastly. Were there cows in Rose Hall? You didn't, not in the town, no. I am. There'd be like chickens. There were chickens and pigs, and there were boars. Mm -hmm. Probably that, the first time that Lucius saw pigs and chickens and <laughs> boars as well. That's the sort of general chain. And you just killed someone's cows. Mm. That's a bad thing. Yeah. Right. Kind of like stealing, but. So we didn't, I didn't work. purge the land of evil today. No, you mm -hmm. deprived a farmer of his livelihood. Well, thank you for allowing me to do so. And none of you stepped in it's while I slaughtered these creatures. How have you never seen a cow before? <laughs> I didn't realize it was a cow. You're I mean, you all, you all woke up and allowed me to go out there and take this on my own. As, I wanted to see how you'd do. I honestly that... thought the cows would win. I didn't think he was going to just kill two cows. <laughs> I thought the cows would win. Oh, God, I feel, I feel faint. <laughs> I just, feel faint. He just murdered. Who's constitution <laughs> Is it cocked? That looks cocked. When you roll. Five. Oh yeah, you faint. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, they might like wild us <laughs> better after they find out what he's done. So they might fainting. It, they might like wild elves a bit better when they learn what the high elves do. Could he pass for a wild elf? No, absolutely not. You just murdered two cows. Where is so you guys want to finish your long rest? We're in so much trouble. I'm already, I'm still pallid down. I'm, <laughs> just, like, just, I'm goes, still just. <laughs> <laughs> this is human matters. Well, Lucius is, a, is unconscious at this point. So is Sentry. Mm. It'll only take me a couple minutes to come back. And yeah. You'll probably like come to in a bit. I don't know what to Daddy? do. 
Oh, it's still here. This has existed. This is real. I slaughtered food. <laughs> Why did you let me do it? I didn't okay, want to so do I it. How have you not seen a cow before? <laughs> have you seen an Assyrian cage? Before? Yes, we have. I one. hold up the one. In my no, you don't have a cage, you have a core. The core, I hold up the core. You have an airship core. But prior to that, you'd never seen one before. I wouldn't kill it. No, because it's not attacking you. It wasn't attacking you, they were cows. They were, it sounded like they were stealthing up on us, ready to pounce. So, look. Were they, were they um, on the ground and or eating the grass? Some were chewing on earth itself, which I assume was some sort of threat. Like, I'm going to eat your skin like I'm eating no, this ground. that was just Cows them are trying vegetarians. to I didn't know. You didn't no. stop me. They just no, it was grass. Quite, it was, honestly, it was highly amusing. So you let me do it for oh, your amusement. Why would you care about some farmer's cows? Like, who gives a shit? <laughs> I don't understand. Free you, state down there. You're all taking this moral high ground with me, but you allowed me to slaughter them. I'm not them. taking a moral high ground. I'm just... <laughs> I'm amazed that you don't know what a cow is. Yeah. Well, now I've learned the hard way. You have to learn somehow. I mean, like, that's, that's how you learn down here. It. That's how you learn in the lowlands. We need to send a letter. <laughs> <laughs> so on point. So on P2 as well. That's how you learn in the lowlands. <laughs> Deal with it, daddy's boy. <laughs> so, what's the plan? <laughs> I think we need to get away from this place very quickly. I think you're a wanted <laughs> man, Lucius. What? I think you're a wanted man. Me? They're no gonna one put saw posters it. of you around in town. Yep. We should it's arrest night. him and get the bounty. It's oh, night time. Why would you do that? I thought you were my friend. You know who I think would like <laughs> Lucius's company? The Brookstone boys in, uh, in oh, Rose yeah. Hall. No, well, there's What the if it was Hall? their cows? Oh, what if it was their cows, then that is definitely <laughs> learning the hard way. <laughs> they already hate us as it is. I want to go home. I like how, like, you're just still having this conversation at like three in the morning. <laughs> I can't handle this anymore. I thought I was forming a kinship with you all, and I slaughtered some cowies. <laughs> Oh, he's nicknamed them already. He doesn't know what they are, and he's given them a little nickname. <laughs> <laughs> I know them inside out because I <laughs> literally blew them up. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what they look like. Mm -hmm. All that cool RP with Sentry in the first half of the episode. <laughs> gonna remember that. Everyone's just going to remember the cow fight now. Sorry, man. <laughs> All this, that cool bit where you had that cool RP. Yeah, that's that's gone. Gone. <laughs> God, 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 no, 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 really, yeah. no. Cows. <laughs> Lucius blew up a cow. Are you staying here for the remainder of this long rest, or do you want to move on and find another cow? I think we should move on. I think it's best I don't to really leave. <laughs> okay. Away from. You don't have a, like a camp to pack up, so it doesn't take you very long. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, and I, I'm going to go around the other way so I don't see them. So okay, see it, was, them. it was a misunderstanding. <laughs> Thank I'm you, sure. Cedric. Thank you. That's not mockery, is it? <laughs> no. Because I'm getting it from everybody Look, else. And... It's fine. If you see the cow that ran away from you, you can just apologise to it. Yeah. It will understand. It does they speak, speak English after yes. all. Yes. They'd speak common. Yeah, yes. they speak. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So just Thanks explain. Thanks, Yasker. At least I can get through to one of them. Why would we eat them if they can <laughs> speak common? <laughs> That's barbaric. Well, they say, please eat me. Do they? Mm -hmm. It's very strange. They want to be eaten. They want to be eaten. They don't want to be blown up, though. How bizarre. How very I'll bizarre. never understand lowland life, you know? No. <laughs> but you're getting there. <laughs> One day at a time, you're learning. We'll assume things. that last conversation happened en route yeah. to your next yeah. episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You finish your long rest. <laughs> And then you spend the next day travelling to Rose Hall, because god damn it, I don't want you to be spending any more time with the <laughs> Okay. Um, when you arrive, you can see that the Harvest Guard uh, are on the gate again. They kind of wave you in. Doesn't seem to be any problem. Um, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wanted man. Not yet, you're not. Um, yeah, the, the town is bustling. The little village is bustling as always. Uh, yeah, where do you guys want to go? What do you want to do? Can we fix Argo's go. leg? Go uh, and sell the things. Wait, what Who do you want to sell it to? Where do you want to go? It's morning, like morning. everything's open. Lucas, Let's just, um, just skip all of that. Try not to mention the cows to anyone here. I'm going to keep a low profile. Just keep my head down like that. Pull the hood up, assess yeah. the street Shame. style. <laughs> Shame. Shame. Okay. Go to Goodsmith's Forge. Mm -hmm. Goodsmiths and yeah, sell they some of the equipment yeah. we've picked up, maybe. Yeah. And there's also the Maximilian. Maximilian, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Delgil provisions. Uh, Del provisions. Oh, and also, 
Nevels, quills, and quandaries. You might have some stuff. I need to get some quills. Well, quandaries. <laughs> who wants to go where, or what do you want to buy? I mean, she's got all the stuff. Nova's got everything. Yeah, um, you actually do. Oh, do I? Which is a terrible idea sure you because do. you lost almost all of it. Yeah, climbing up. I did. Oh, I have yeah. a pocket watch. Mm. Yeah. I've got nothing on me. I, I have a pocket. silver pocket watch. I suggest we go to Dale Gill Provision. Wait, did we make a deal with someone to come down to the? No, we didn't make a really, deal. No. no. Okay, you make your way back to the Dale Geld Provisions Company or Company Provisions, uh, a very well kept uh, stone foundation store with a thatched roof. Very elegant designs. This um, particular mercenary band's logo stenciled onto the sign out front. Um, and inside, you see a very well dressed half elf man, uh, long hair, um, probably tied up in some sort of like man bun, uh, just sweeping with a broom. Uh, he turns, Oh, you're back. I didn't quite expect it, I must admit. Uh, not a lot of people have ventured to the chasm return. Well, welcome back to Rose Hall. I'm glad to see you all alive and well. Uh, can I help you? I like your faith in us. I'm afraid, my dear, as you are no doubt familiar, these places can be quite dangerous and very groups true. heading off on their own. Well, uh, very few return. Those that do, however, are suddenly normally come back with a few interesting tales and trinkets. On which note, bam! I put the Ethereum dagger on the Ah, mm. Takes out a small little uh, eyeglass. Hmm. Let's look at it, picks it up. Yeah, it's excellent weight, ethereum alloy, no doubt. Uh, yes, I'm, well, I'm glad that you brought it here to me. I would have expected, uh, huh. No, yes, I would be more than happy to purchase that off of you. How much are you looking for it? 400 gold. I'm afraid that is most certainly not uh, in the question. I would pay, at best, 150. Oh, please, ethereum mm. of this quality. Yes. Bearing in mind hands. the trouble it took to go to the chasm to retrieve said ethereum in the first place. Very dangerous. I think about I how you sure it sell. was. I mean, unfortunately, it was nothing to do with me. That was certainly your choice. I'm more than happy to pay 150 gold for it. That will ensure that I can make a profit on its resale. Oh, I think you can make a much bigger profit than this. Think about it. The only dagger you could get from Dwalinden, the fallen dwarven city. Think about how you could sell it that way. Give me a persuasion check. Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. You mean the city that almost anybody outside of this region has never heard of? I'm afraid that most people in Gold Throne won't give a damn. Um, 150 gold. Let's go take it to Daisa. She likes metal. Uh, uh, all right. I will offer you slightly more. I know that the smith won't be able to afford much more coin. Let's call it 200 gold. That's more than Daisa will be able to afford. Uh, I think we should uh, see what Daisa has to offer us. Maybe we can come back and offer a trade. Or even the Harvest Guard, actually. They said that they need weapons. It's true. And if you're willing to give it away for a pittance, of course. I, you are more than welcome to take it to get a Daisy Goodsmith. I'm sure she will offer you 150 to 175 for it. I will offer 200. Well, we might see you later. Indeed. I am always here. If you have anything else, I'm more than willing to take a look at it. Oh, well, I think we or are. If you actually... require any provisions of your own, uh, we still have. I know that uh, uh, Lucius, I believe, wasn't it? Yes. I uh, was quite interested in a cloak I had for sale. I have a few uh, various other related items, you haven't heard, potions. Uh, you haven't heard anything, have you? You know? Ah, uh, no. Excellent. Lucius. Uh, Lucius. What? Don't worry. Um, old, we will so. settle our other requirements first before we start thinking about buying any extras. Actually, we think we might be able to return some goods to you. Stuff that people may have bought here before they went down to dwell in them themselves. Uh, climbers, kits, things like that. Yes, we found them down there. Yes, I'd be more than happy to, uh, to purchase. As I mentioned, I mean, please do understand, I will purchase at lower than a buying price because I have to make a profit myself, but I will try and offer you a fair price. I'm not some cheat or some con man. Well, yes, not criminals here. No criminals here. No. No. Lucius, calm fine. down. Well, fine. <laughs> By all means, fine. go and speak fine. with Daisa. Okay. Uh, speak with Navel if you must, and then I will be here with coin waiting. Okay. Just give the man his stuff. Can I just like take Lucius outside? Yeah. Just like wheel him outside. She can't stop me in this <laughs> entry. It's okay. It's, it's, it's don't worry. It's he was fine. glaring it's right through me. Don't, don't worry. It's it's all fine. Don't worry. You don't need to panic. Okay. Good point. We could spot. use some deep pearls as well. Sit, deep breaths. Them. Deep breaths. Oh, yes. Dale has pearls. Dale. 
where we literally are. Does he? I thought we... Um... Yeah, he had a cabinet with like semi-precious stones, gemstones. There's pearls in there if you need to buy them. Yeah. I guess I we, have a we walk, walk out a and then walk back. <laughs> a very fine piece. Takes a look at it. Like, oh yes, excellent craftsmanship. I won't bother trying to pitch it to 25. 35, I'd be more than willing to pay mm -hmm. for it. A little bit more than that, please. It's just, it was a lot of effort to get this. Make, and I think it's worth way me. more. You can make a persuasion check for me. Seven. <laughs> I'm afraid the 35 is the most I'm going to offer. <sighs> you may find somebody, you, you will be hard pressed to find somebody in the town. Perhaps a wealthy merchant will pay more for it. Somebody who would actually use it. I'm simply going to resell it. What if we sure. sell the Ethereum dagger, this scimitar, this crowbar, this climber's kit, and that pocket watch for 350. He's <gasps> batting his head. No, 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 the other items are nowhere near that amount of money. At best, you would be looking at something along the lines of... Um... 300. Oh, no, certainly not, no. I mean, the, if the equipment that you have there is perhaps barely worth 50 gold, if that. Um... Lucius himself said the dagger was worth more than that on its own. Mm, true. The dagger is likely worth 250 to 300 gold. I will pay you 200 for it. That is above what I would normally pay. Um, as for the rest, uh, let me see here. That's yeah, about 12 gold for the climber's kit. Um, the scimitar, what shall we say? Uh, another 12, yes, yeah, perhaps. Yeah, barely about, about 50 gold for that whole set of knickknacks and things like that. So 300 total. No, my dear, you don't seem to be listening to me, I'm afraid. I'm afraid... But they've been field tested. I'm sure they have, which makes them second hand and worth even less. Nice one, Nova. There's no pitons inside of this one. <laughs> it's to, worth more. I wanted to roll a persuasion check. <coughs> He's already... you Because you already basically yeah. made the threat of going to Dace's, so there's no need to make a persuasion check. Dace will probably value these things much more than he will anyway. They're weapons. That's what she does. Mm. Ish. That's if she has the coin to pay for them. Well, we can check. By all means, you're welcome to. It's a free market after all. But I will still be here when inevitably, I'm sure you will come back to sell it to me. Did you see it too? Did you see? So. He knows something. <laughs> these two are just outside. He does. Coke I can assure you. How much are these pearls, by the way? I, you probably said. In before. the cabinet? Yes. I would sell those for 100 gold. Each? Uh, yes, they're about that, yes. I mean, they're varying sizes. What about the small... only need one. Yeah, what about the smaller it. ones? Uh, this, it, it depends on the quality and the purity of them. The smaller ones, 50 gold. Hmm. This one's rusty. No, wait, that's a nail. <laughs> this one's <laughs> dirty. <laughs> I don't know why I said rusty. <laughs> Be <it>. rusty. <laughs> now it is clean. It's still worth the same price. Okay. 50 gold. It has to be a pearl worth 100 gold, otherwise the spell doesn't work. Worth 100 gold valued by this guy, or...? No. 100 gold. As like, valued yeah. by the player. If, if he <laughs> says it's 100 gold, then it's you need 100 gold yep. of pearl. Okay. I'm just thinking about, like, dirtying one up and saying... Stuff like, like material components, I'm not going to short you on. If I say, like, if you're like, we want to buy a 500 gold diamond, I'll be like, here you are, that's 500 gold. I'm oh, so gonna... rather than some guy coming along and saying, like, no, that's 750. Yeah, you know, I mean, that could happen, but I'm not really okay. going to be that much of a douche. But other items I am going to... The, the merchants need to make profits on them, so... Okay. Well, again, that's something we can think about after we've settled the, um... Debt? Is it the debt? Are we in debt? Arvel's medical bills. Yeah, that. Medical bills. Well, if you wish to come back, by all means, please do. Okay. So. I think we should settle that first, if we can. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Yeah. How are your hands? No, oh, that's they're true. a bit redder. Oh, yeah, shit, I forgot about that. This one's <laughs> going a bit purple. Yeah, they're inflamed. Mm. They're kind of hot and squishy. Don't prod it. But Don't prod it. Okay. So, do you want to head to the Smiths? Uh, yeah, and then I think after that we also want to go to... Navel. Navels, Quills and Quandries. Okay. So, quills and quandries. as a group, you make your way over to uh, Dacer Goodsmith's Forge, which is near the far end of town. When you approach, you can see, basically, you see the, the good-natured, blonde-haired, short but athletically built uh, woman. Her hair's kind of tucked into two pigtails, freckles kind of over her cheeks, 
dirty smock um, with kind of big uh, forge gauntlets mm. on her hands. And she's hollering at two rough-looking men uh, wearing miners' clothes. Um, and you can see her with like a hammer in one hand, and she's like threatening it. And she's like, "Go on, get out of here! I ain't talking to your boss. Go on, get." And they basically turn around and be like, "You better watch yourself, Daisa. Uh, he's gonna get his money." And then he, they end up piling off. Uh, um... She turns around and is like, "You can see her like kicking something on the ground and." Foul mouth void spawn bastard. Whoa, whoa, Daisa, Daisa language. Oh. <laughs> My apologies, friend. Sorry about that. I didn't mean you to see that unpleasantness. Just those Brookstone boys get me, oh, they get me right riled, they do. Oh, they're troubling you as well. Ugh, don't even. Friend, it's a long story. I don't want to trouble you none with it. Just local nonsense. That's what it is. I mean, it doesn't sound like it's going to evolve into local nonsense. It's just, well, I bought, I bought some bad iron from Brookstone several weeks ago, and, well, he sold it to me and a few other people around town. We found out it was bad, really impure, couldn't be used. I went to the field warden. He managed to convince some folks up in Gold Throne, and, we, well, we basically made Brookstone pay for it. He gave us our money back. He was out of pocket. Now he keeps sending these boys around, trying to threaten me, making me give him his gold back that he's owed or something. And, well, I, I don't take kindly to that kind of persuasion, so I tell them where to go. So he's asking you for money you don't even owe him? Exactly. That's the kind of man Brett Brookstone is. And how much is that exactly? Uh, it's around, I think, he had to pay me back about 100 gold, so uh, it's around here. Whew, that's going to bite into his pockets. Hmm. And I suppose you don't have that sort of money? Well, I do, but it, I don't owe him a damn thing. He sold bad iron which he overcharged me for, and the field warden determined that he should pay me back for it. So as far as I'm concerned, I don't owe him jack. Well, I agree with you. Is the field warden aware that... Oh, he's aware of Brookstone. He keeps a couple of the Harvest Guard keeping eyes on him, but the problem is there's only a few of them around town, and they can't be everywhere, so Brook likes to send his minor boys over to cause trouble now and then. But anyway, they'd have a hard time bullying me. I'd sooner give them a smack to the face of my hammer than let them do anything. I like her. Anyway, how can I help you folks? You didn't come around here to listen to my problems. Oh, like, look at you, y'all, looking so fancy and all that. We got stuff for sale. Oh, well, certainly I'd be more than happy to take a look at them. I'm, I'm not much of a buyer, unfortunately, but uh, I certainly have things I can trade, and I've got a few, coal, a few bits of gold squared away, or... If you need any work done, I can do that as well. Craft, uh, well, it's, I don't know. Crafting weapons and armor is something of a hobby. I mostly do uh, farming tools and horseshoes around here, but I know a few good techniques. I've been working on a few things in my part-time that I can sell. Interesting. I show her the Ethereum Degger. Ooh, now look at this. This is some fine work. Ain't never seen no Ethereum alloy like this before. This is old craftsmanship. You know, I had the pleasure of working with a bit of Ethereum once. Made me a real nice longsword. Got it stored away back in the back. I was trying to sell it to some merchant lord, but this is nice work. Ooh, reckon this is worth, uh, well, nearly 250, maybe 275 gold. I mean, I don't, I don't have much I can pay for it. I've got 150, but I mean, I'd be willing to trade it for you if you need any. I got weapons and arms, armor, shields, anything like that I can trade, but... The thing is, we kind of need the gold, because this is to help pay our friend Arvel's medical fees. I mean, the best I can offer you, sweetheart, is 150, I'm afraid. I just don't have a lot of coin. Most of my work is in trade, so... Um, mm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't know if y'all have much gold on you, but I've, I can show you a few of the, the custom works I've been making, or... If, you got anything that I can trade for him, I'd be happy to take it. I'm always looking for uh, anything that can help me if you find any resources or if you find anything that you need me to turn into something. Uh, a lot of folks like yourselves might come across magic trinkets that I could shape up into something else for you. Oh, well. I've got this spear tip. Ooh, spear tip. It's magical, but I'm not entirely sure how. I mean, well, I'm no good at... Uh, you probably want to take that to Neville to get it identified about what his properties are, but sure, if he can tell you what it can do, I can craft you a nice new half for it, turn it back into a real spear tip, a real spear for you. That shouldn't take too long. It'll take me a couple of days to make something like that. Are you able uh, to forge magical things into other weapons? Ooh, I mean, that's a tricky business. It's kind of difficult. Uh, well, what you thinking? Well, I'm just wondering if anyone here is 
capable of using a spear, but they could be capable of using it as a dagger or something like that. I just don't. I mean, know a spear tip. I could turn it into a dagger, sure. Uh... It depends on the properties of its magic, though. That's beyond me, I'm afraid. I learned a little bit from my mentor, my master, but uh, I'm afraid I don't know much else. But, um, I mean, yeah, like, I don't know if you had, uh, you know, let's say you found some beast's hide, I could turn that into armor, or if you found some uh, rare metals, I could try and forge that. Um, I mean, I've got a suit of full plate armor that I could be willing to sell you. It, it took me a long time to make, and it's pretty pricey if you go up to the big cities nearly 2,000 gold for a full set, but mm. I could trade it for something. Um, I got that Ethereum longsword. I'd be willing to trade you. Again, you could find somebody in Gold Throne to pay you more coin for it, but I'm afraid I just don't have any much money myself. Well, I don't have it'd any. It'd have to be real, real special for me to blow on my savings. I've, I've been saving up gold for a long time, but... Hmm. I don't have any need for other weapons. No, me either. Um... Can you upgrade weapons? I mean, what you, what you thinking? This is my hammer. Oh boy, yeah, I remember you showing me this earlier. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is fine work. Heavy head, though. I'm surprised that you can swing this. This needs a counterbalance on the pommel, and she shows you the bottom edge of the hammer. See, this here has been sheared off a long time ago. This probably once had some sort of counterbalance. Uh, not sure what it would have been, but I could definitely make you a new one of those. I could fill in some of these chips and dents here. In terms of magic, you'd need some sort of catalyst. My old master, a dwarven fellow, used to be able to smith all sorts of things. He used to tell me to give you magical properties, that sort of stuff. You need a catalyst. Uh, mm -hmm. Generally, they take the form of gemstones or uh, rare metals or something like that. Um, or, you know, alchemical ingredients. You can provide me those, I can certainly forge them into something. But if you like, I can definitely work on the hammer a little bit. If you had something like Ethereum, I could make, uh, you know, make some changes, inlay the half with it, make it a bit lighter for you to use. Um, but yeah, you need to provide the supplies. I'm happy to fix it up for you, though. Hmm, how much would it be to fix up that end? The end? The counterstone? Well, I got some good quality steel I can use. And, uh, well, yeah, maybe. You know what I could do is I could try melting down my Ethereum longsword for you that I made a long time ago. I could put that in the half. That'd make it lighter, too. It'd probably cost you a bit of gold, though. I'd be willing to trade it. I mean, if you give me that, you trade me that dagger, I'd be willing to work on that hammer for you. I reckon I can do something real nice. Make it hit harder, easier to wield. Mm. Oh, damn it. Damn it, broken leg. Why don't y'all have time. to think about it? I'm not going Maybe another anywhere. time. Sure. Good to know. It's I'm good around to know. here all the time. And yeah, right if now, you ever find anything, I mean, I'm always on the lookout for trinkets and things like that. I've been winning a trade with you, so. And uh, yeah, that full plate armor, no, nobody around here is going to ever buy it. I made it more as a test of my skills, so that's just going to sit in my shop until somebody wants to buy it. So come let me know. Let's go over mm. to Nabil's. Okay. Seems sure. like after all this, we're still quite short on money. Well, we can sell that dagger. Arvel said that he might help us once he gets home, but yeah. it'll be much easier for him to get home if he doesn't have a broken leg. It's true. Okay, it's true. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Neville's. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Neville's, uh, so Neville's Quills and Quandaries is a kind of miserable looking half squat dome roofed building on the very corner of the town. There's no sign, but if, when you ask locals, they kind of point the direction. Uh, the windows are covered in a thick black drape on the inside, and outside has just been like covered in overgrown weeds, plant pots that haven't been watered. It's just a complete mess. Mm -hmm. uh, the roof is patchy, has leaks in it. Um, but as you go up here, yeah, you see that the worn door, it's locked, like you go to open it, it's locked. Um, but there's no sign that you're not sure whether it's open or closed. Seems like this guy is really gonna have a lot of money. I really need some quills, though. I lost all my writing stuff. Uh, you need some what? Sorry, I wasn't really listening. You needed some... Writing. Oh, sorry, I just heard you say I, my name. I presumed it would be kind of rude if I just took feathers from you and turned it into a writing implement. Oh, could you do that, though? Because that'd be kind of cool. I mean, yeah, here you go. <laughs> Well, this seems strange. Oh, it's still warm. I mean, <laughs> my eye is like watering a little bit. <laughs> you go. <laughs> Thank you. You don't get many of these. No. 
Um, don't lose this one because I don't really want a bald spot. So. Okay. Enjoy. Thanks. Does that, I don't even know still, if that works. <laughs> I still need some ink. Oh. And a small bag of sand. Small bag of I'm sand? To erase things. Erase things? Yeah, I dropped half of my writing kit down the chasm. Wait, how much of your writing kit? This conversation. Pretty <laughs> much all of it. Like idle conversation just stood outside a <laughs> man's house. <laughs> Can I see if there's anyone? Can I? The windows are covered in like a thick black curtain. I guess like maybe if you peer through them, you can see a vague, sh tiny shape moving around. Can I not? <laughs> you see, not, not, not. You just hear a. Me! <laughs> 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 Who's that? Uh, potential customers. Ah! Uh, Richard! <laughs> Richard! Oh, here we go. Get the dog! And you see the yeah. door open, but there's nobody, nobody opens it. You see like a faint outline of a shape, of a humanoid shape. Like almost like the air itself has come alive as the door opens. Thank you, Richard. You just go through him. Uh, oh, it's an unseen servant. Uh, Many of those in our... Come in! ...state. Yeah, yeah okay. Make fun. Mm. Go in. You, you step Crouch. into... Hoarder's hell. <laughs> Piles of books and scrolls and garbage is just everywhere. And kind of sat in a big leathery armchair that's full of holes, a weasel running along the top of it, like a long, like a, like a ferret or a stoat is just like running along the top of it. And sitting in this chair, glaring at you as you step in the door with a pipe in his mouth is an old gnome. His curly black hair is just all over the place. His beard is like like a little tiny goatee, but very long and thin, like pointed, like a little dagger. He's wearing like really rough, shoddy looking clothes. They were probably robes once, but he's laid loads of coats over them. And one of his boots has like a big toe sticking out of it. <laughs> and he's just... <sighs> what? Neville? Yes! Okay, we're in the right place. Um, mm, an Alan are... Croker! Haven't seen one of your kind in a while. Uh. Richard! T! <laughs> and you see the shape just hovering towards like a really filthy looking basin with like a kettle and a little stove, and the unseen servant starts putting on a tea. Mm. Uh, lovely to meet you too, Richard. I'm not. Are you talking to the unseen servant? Yeah. <laughs> Don't talk to Richard! He's not real! Oh, well, just. What do you want? Covering up. This is the quills and quandaries, yeah? Yes! Currently is the quills and quandaries. Yes! Not was? No! Still is. Yes! Funny enough, country bumpkins don't seem to like reading, and they don't have a perchance for magical spells. I moved out here for quiet. I see. How's you... that going for you? Today, not well! <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Two questions. One, hi, can I buy a scholar's ah! <laughs> kit? And can you identify the spear tip? Thanks. His eyes seem to go wider when you ask for the identification. Scholar's kit, Richard will sort that out in a second. Identify something you said? And I'll hold up the spear tip. Richard! <laughs> <laughs> Bring it to me! And you see the hovering thing. I could just give it to you. Give it to Richard. I don't like to be handed things. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Richard. Richard then hops it over to Naville, who takes it, eyes it up, rummages in like he has like three coats on like on top of each other, goes through like several pockets, <laughs> pulls out a pearl, puts it in his mouth, and then looks at the spear tip. His mouth and cheek glow as if something is glowing inside. Puts the pearl back in his pocket, like. Oh, yes, yes, very interesting. This was once part of an old relic, an elven relic, if I'm not mistaken, called Blackthorn. Mm, let me see, hang on. And he digs around in some piles of books, pulls out an old tome. Mm, yes. Yes, belonged to an old clan of elves when they descended down from the sky cities before they became wild elves as you know them today. Blackthorn was said to have powers over the environment around vines and uh, plants, that sort of thing. This spear tip is only part of it. The haft is missing. It has an, its original haft. When the two would be combined, if they were to be fixed, 
it would have much greater potency. For now, the spear tip has the ability to cast a number of spells per day. It can cast uh, some druidic magic, uh, a spell called Thorn Whip, one called Spike Growth, and one called uh, Entanglement, uh, which traps foes. Very, very useful to have something like this. Very, very curious item. Hmm. Where did you get it? Uh, I had a run in with some elves. Elf lady. Ah, took it off their dead bodies. Good, good. Let nothing go to waste. Richard, take it back. Would you be interested in That'd buying it? That'll be a hundred gold, please. Oh, uh, what? All right, I'll do it for 50. Well, hang on. No, we never negotiated a price. Uh, exactly. I'm charging you a price. What? You asked me to identify the spear tip. I've done it. I'm telling you it's 50 gold. Well, no, hang on. You identified the spear tip of your own volition. No, you asked me to. But, but is there a... And you were aware that this was a shop. You specifically asked me if this was still Navel's Quills and Quandaries, aware of the business that is conducted inside. I mean, strictly speaking, there's no sign outside identifying this as a shop, and there's but no price list it. anywhere. No, of course. You didn't ask me a price. But you didn't advertise identifying as a, as, as a skill. But as yet a... you still knew that I could do it. I mean, technically speaking, she asked if you could, and then you did it. You didn't yes. say yes or no, you just did it. Yeah. Should have told me not to do it. What? <laughs> but <laughs> okay, take everything uh, magical away from him, just in case he starts identifying it now and charges us for it. Twenty-five. I'll be nice, seeing as my keenness did overtake me. Would you be interested in buying the spear tip? Hmm. Potentially. Quite a unique item. Yes. Could get the heart somehow. That would be quite rare indeed. Perhaps enough to find by my own tower and move out of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> mm. so, okay. Yes. He starts thinking, stroking his little beard. Yes. Yes, I'd be willing to purchase it from you. Yes. Let's say. Let me have a think here. Well, the spear tip is not worth as much as it would be as a complete item, of which you would no doubt need to locate the haft, and I imagine that it is in the hands of some. Wild elf champion of some sort, no doubt. Ooh, I will pay you. Hmm. I will pay you fifteen hundred gold. Final offer. Can we just take a moment to talk about this? Yes. Okay. Uh, and I'll shuffle everyone away. Did he say fifteen hundred? Yeah. Yes, I did say fifteen hundred. <laughs> I think I'm known, I'm not old. I think. Navel. Yes. It's a very generous offer. Um, mm. I Did mean... I get a scholar's kit with that as well? Sure. Richard, sort out some pens and parchment for the thing. And a small bag of sand. Yes, yes, yes. You are still using sand? How droll. I mean, let's just think about this for a second. Fifteen hundred gold. Yeah, that seems about. Yes, we'll take. Yes, we'll do well, that. But yes. why is it worth All right. that much? I feel like. Can we use that? I'll put it this way. The reason I'm offering that much for it is, if you base it purely on its own abilities, that's roughly how much it's worth to any purveyor of magical relics. However, you're right that there is more to it. If you could find the half and repair it, it'd be quite a potent little item, likely worth. Perhaps double, perhaps even triple that sum. But you would need to find it. I am willing to give you cold, hard gold right now, which it seems you're in need of, based on your bird friend's reaction. Oh, no, I was completely passive about 1,500 gold. Come on, Richard. <laughs> Let's give it to the... Let, 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 let them see it. That might convince them. <laughs> And you see the, uh, <laughs> the thing is like, it's in the back room, go, go find it, yes. Some of it might be in gemstones, is that all right? Ooh, yes, that's, that's actually... Do you need one? Yes. Sure, I'll throw in mine. Oh, uh, wait, I could, uh, Do you want me to clean it? Yes, please. I'll get Richard to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Richard returns with a wooden chest filled with gold platinum coins and several gemstones. Uh, he takes hand like 10 platinum coins out, gives Richard the pearl, clean that, goes over to the basin, washes the pearl, puts it in the chest, makes sure he's taken the amount of gold out. Yes, that'll do. You can count it if you like. If you try and steal it, I will incinerate you all. 
Okay, I mean... And he okay. holds up a finger and a small glowing orange bead appears. No, no need for that. Um, you sure? Oh, definitely. <laughs> uh, 100% sure. I don't want to burn my books. I don't want to be incinerated. Good. Um, I noticed you didn't uh, expend the pearl in identifying the... Uh... No, you don't need to. Hmm. No, it we works have established all the time. Already. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't dissolve after one. It's like when Your Laura had the is... scrying glass. This is new to me. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'll leave it. You have anything else? <laughs> <laughs> you need anything else you need identifying before I give you my pearl? No, 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 it's fine. Um, I don't want you to charge us for it, really. No, I'll throw it in for free. It's fine. Well, that's very kind of you. It doesn't take me long. I'm um, not really going to use any of my lower level spells today. I'm out anyway. I've already got Richard. Lower level spells? Yes. Mm. Lower spells have a certain degree of magical power that ascends. Mm. I'm, a, I'm assuming some sort of simpleton like you wouldn't understand. Um. Could we interest you in this dagger as well? The, the oh, no, how barbaric! Is it only magic items that you have? Yes, of course. In? Why would I be interested in some instrument of some back alley? Have you got any potions, anything? No, I don't sell those. I sell spells, scrolls, that sort of thing. All right. Well, what about this? My simpleton mind can see that this is magical. Mm. I'll hand him the blacksmith's hammer. Uh, do you wish me to identify it? If you throw it in for free. Out of curiosity, sure. There you go. I'll need my pearl, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Richard! <laughs> well, yes, another quite interesting item. Um, this is not some component, as the spear tip was. This is, uh, it belonged to a, a dwarven smith called Ganwin. Um, it is a hammer. It is magically enchanted, which makes it more effective at uh, hitting what you needed to hit and damaging things. Uh, it also has unique uh, traits. It has the ability to cast the Mending Cantrip a number of times per day, as well as the spell Heat Metal, which will in heat in any metal that it is pointed at. Cool. Um, oh, it yeah. is also moderately enchanted. Very, very potent. I imagine somebody like Dasa Goodsmith would be very interested in this, as it is a blacksmith's hammer. It would it allow her yeah. to do a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you are a delight. We should keep it. Huh? We should keep it. We should keep it? Yeah, we should keep it. It is a we light should... hammer. So it's, uh, we hammer. should keep it. Hmm. I'm wondering if that keep spear it. tip mm -hmm. could be used on my hammer to make it also so super cool. Gold and a gold and a pearl. Yeah. And two so, identifications. Spear tip! Gold! Listen, Ayla, if we we'll get the one. haft, then we can come back for it. I'll sell it to you for 3,000 gold if you come back. You don't need it. We do need 1,500 gold. We can find you other things. I'll, I'll, take, you. I'll take your guardian for it. No, Sorry? she's not for sale. No, no. no. But how much is she worth? A guard, living guardian? My goodness. I'm uh, by the gods. Fortune. Absolute fortune. I know noblemen up in gold throne that would pay 10,000 gold, 20,000 for a living guardian in their service. Oh, don't worry, Sentry. I'm not thinking about selling you. I'm just thinking... What's just curious. Thing to say? No, no, I'm thinking... You're asking the value of a sentry in front of her. It's good to know, just How in case someone sees her. How much would you value the Sarah Kirkcroft? No, wait, no. Well, that one's only got one wing. It's basically worthless. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel, Quill? Hmm? I just said you were delightful, Navel. I'm not! <laughs> I don't know why you would say that! How about we make... I'm horrid! He's a bit cantankerous. <laughs> what does that mean? Look, are we doing a deal or not? I think we should. Otherwise, you can pay me for the identifications. I would much prefer we took the 1500 gold and the two free identifications and the ability not to sell Sentry. Yes. And, and a good. clean pearl. That's, Richard has cleaned it. And the scholar's kit, thank you. And sand. You got sand? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you guys get what you asked for? Oh takes, boy! Uh, one spit it. Man, Who's let me just money? put that into the group fund page of my notebook. 1500. Do we need to, like, does someone need to put that into their, like... Probably. Yeah. Put it on your On D&D &D. Beyond. Would be, would make sense. Or you could split it all up right now. You could each take an even share. Probably best well, How a group fund it. works. Is it divided by five? Well, if our business is done, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, I like him. Okay, well, see you later now. I like, so far, I like the High Elf, the Wild Elf, and the Guardian. Oh, thank you. She doesn't talk that much. He hasn't said a bloody word. 
She's not said a bloody word. That's what I like. You're irritating. You're irritating. Goodbye. I, I, I get that a lot. Nice to meet you. Less Sorry. liking you less and less, Guardian. Thank you so Sorry. much for helping. You've been amazing. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that, that's where we're going to win today. Yeah. Yeah. Ten minutes left. We're rich. 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 Yeah, it's a loose term. Richer. Richard. 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 <laughs> I've, I've, I've added the 1,500 to mine just for like, but okay. it'll be group fund. Okay. Okay. Uh, Bill Sage, one, two, three donated. I'm able to watch live since five months or longer. What is your opinion on the Gloom Stalker Ranger archetype? OP, how would you incorporate Umbral Sight into your campaign with Low Light Vision House Rule? Well, we don't have the Low Light Vision House Rule anymore. Billy Sage, and I've not really looked into it that much. Hello, Rembe. Donate. Oh, thank, thank you very much. No message. <laughs> Uh, PVT Bob, Private. thank you very much. Private Bob, love the stream. Was the first D&D stream I watched and got me to subscribe to the Yoastcast. Any chance that y'all will ever do a Shadowrun campaign? Um, I've been playing Shadowrun uh, Dragonfall recently, actually. I don't know, I don't think we'd ever do it. Maybe as a one-shot? One yeah. shot. I'd yeah. love to do, man, I'd love to do something with Cyberpunk 2077, but that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Dancing on Fire, uh, it's so great to have the whole gang back. Onwards with adventure, thanks very much. Nightjar, tote bag, yes! <laughs> also, I may have a mild addiction to Idle Champions already. 49 dice and Whoa, passing. Wow. Also, love you all, you wonderful people. Thanks, Nightjar. Thanks, thanks for Dancing on Dying Fire. Yeah. Okay, to take it away! Uh, Hanny Becky has donated, thank you very much. Um, Azul Aura has said, nice to have a stream with all five of you back. And they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> With all five of you back after last week's insanity, super excited for the new merch too. Also, my D and D group is meeting for the first time tomorrow Yay! to iron out nice. characters, and I'm so excited. Thank you all for inspiring me to play. Nice, thank you. Um, Hard Rock Unicorn has said, <gasps> "Gonna have to be part of the Vod Squad yeah! from now on as I start a new job early tomorrow." And sadly, if I'm not Sentry, I require some sleep. <laughs> we'll still be enjoying it very much, though. Looking forward to the start of Rogue's Gambit as well. Nice. Yes. Um, That's one. Sad. Um, has said, are they all here? Legolas the Bruce, check. Frickin' laser beams, check. <laughs> One-armed Birdman killed my wife, check. She's blue, dabba dee, dabba die, check. Sometimes sounds like Mr. Burns, sometimes Frank Spencer, check. Surely the best thing on Twitch. Smithers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steffi1126, hi rollers, have not been able to catch you guys live recently since I'm taking an eight week Latin class at the moment. Oh, My fine. exam is coming up in a couple of weeks. Good luck. Multis anyway, just want to say hi and throw some money at your beautiful faces. Thanks. Thank you so much. I'm passing on to you. Okay. Uh, Davides, um, Sentry is so cool and sweet. May she have many warm plates and other kitchen utensils. <laughs> yes, I like please. Plates thing, yeah. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much, Davides. Um, Varys, my internet is being really shitty, so I have to watch the stream at 160p. Wow. Uh, and it still buffers occasionally, which gets really annoying. Wow. But it was uh, still a really enjoyable stream. I'm glad. The new series looks really good too, and I look Sorry. forward to seeing more of that. Do you live in the past? <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, just listen to I the podcast. To say, I just wanted to say that quote. Uh, Metamani with a quarter hundo. Um, you managed to fight a ninja cow with epic music. How? <laughs> what? The fucking cow. Oh, yeah. God. I, I lost my shit. Um, <laughs> Davides again. Oh, yeah. Um, Cam set fire to Dimitri. Six set fire to a kid in Chult. And now Lucius sets fire to a cow. The best ten minutes of high rollers ever. Ha 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 ha. Trot's characters confirmed for Pyromania. And this is the funny thing. Didn't Dead everyone... Reckoning, didn't Taryn set something on fire as well? Or like burn somebody? Yeah. Like he like branded them, I think. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Uh, so like Juto is always accused for being the fire starter, but this guy. Well, Juto was guy. also a fire starter. Yeah, yeah. One time. No. One no. time. The amount of times you said, can I set it on fire? But I didn't know. I want to. But, but I how didn't, many times? I didn't know. High roller stats. How many times <laughs> did Kim say, can <laughs> I just I set everything right. on fire? Carry on. <laughs> Kim. actually Kim. set it on Go fire. Ahead. Nightjar has donated, well, get ready for the new endgame boss, level 20 rogue cow. Yeah. <laughs> Not to mention the two revenant cows now on the tail. Revenant the cows. The coming boy, you little Oh my jerk. god. <laughs> um, Barris has donated, uh, have more money just for the cow bit. I'm dying from laughter. Elvish Costello, still my favorite. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, come on, guys. Everyone knows pearls grow inside cows, an overlooked bovine looting opportunity if ever I saw one. If it's World of Warcraft, that's not entirely false. No. <laughs> 
Uh, Mira Neuron has donated a quarter hundo. Tom, Trot, and Rhiannon, thanks for streaming last Sunday. It was my birthday, and this stream is the one thing I get to do for myself each week. I would have been so sad if he hadn't been there. Also, Aww. Tom's face during the cow fiasco was priceless. God, <laughs> I was ready to Trotter leave. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tom. Hayoshi213 donated. I just want to express my appreciation for Tom because he's doing an excellent job on the podcast. It's hey, so thank convenient you. and well made. Whoever's reading this, give Tom a pat on the back for me. Can you make sure you spend Hayoshi the fifteen dollars you have? Yeah. Oh, wait, what? 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 I was implying that you're paying for people to say nice things. Oh yeah, no, I'll send that your way. Thank you. Ace of Thorns <laughs> donated. Richard. Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Lols and hugs. Thank you, Ace of Thorns. Thanks, Ace Don Hendre donated. Ooh. Daddy bets this week. Lucian. So, Daddy a total of eight times, and out of the eighteen people in the chat that took part. Endy, the Ender Chicken, and Hidden 490 were the closest. Thank you, you for that. I like how it's a mini game. Yeah, a little mini game. That was quite yeah, And the last one. Do you want to do the last one? No, oh, no worries. Uh, the Game Guy 415 donated and said, Hey, I'm done moving. Nothing like some high rollers in the morning to start off this week. Hopefully, that spear tip wasn't a super important magic <laughs> item. Avril better be thankful. Avril. Avril. I mean, Avril oh, Avril 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 play where like items that come in parts aren't really cool. Yeah. <laughs> we can always get it back. <laughs> Shall I do the solution to the puzzle? Yes, let's do the solution and then that's going to round us out. So, in the puzzle, we had a match formation of 2808. You could only move two matches. The correct answer to big, make the largest number, the largest number is 281181, which is what, 28,000, no, how, you do numbers. 281,000. Oh right, because you take it from the top so, and bottom. So yeah, zero. so here we can get creative. You actually remove two matchsticks from the zero and turn it into an 11, ah. and then you use those moved ah. matchsticks so to end. create a one at the yeah. end. Ah. Oh, I just made 8,000. Yeah. Yeah, I knew yeah. that it was, you added the ones so, yeah, to the end, but I can't remember the, which one it was. Take the middle bit of the eight, yeah. put it in the end. Yeah, well, there you go. Nice. Yeah. Another awesome puzzle from Brilliant, one of our Congratulations sponsors. Congratulations if you got it if right. If you want yeah. to um, explore this puzzle more, there are links in the YouTube VOD down below. Yeah, in the below. so you can actually go specifically to that course. Yeah. Uh, also, a big thank you to D&D Beyond, our other sponsor. We love yes. D&D Beyond, thanks very much. We'll see you next week. We're here next week. Yeah. We'll see you Everybody tomorrow. Be we'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow. for a Rogue's Gambit. 6 p.m. Uh, PST. Spread the word. Twitch.tv forward slash D&D. We'd love to see loads of people coming and checking that out. Check that out. It's going to be great. And if you oh, haven't seen really the character crazy. creation, it's on YouTube on High Rollers or the <laughs> D&D channel. It's so another mad one. It's, it's great. Crazy. It's, a it's ridiculous so characters. You'll see them I on Twitter wait. as well. Tomorrow, it's going to be a lot of fun. And also play Idol Champions because that helps us for that as well. Yeah. Yes, please do. Cheers, Dan. See you, then. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye.